What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're playing Too Many Bones. And for the first time we're playing with three players. I'm Rob, this is Melanie, and this is Justin. You guys asked for it in the comments. You wanted three or four players. Well, this, I, the best I can do right now is three. So we've got Justin here. We've given him a quick rundown of the game, kind of taught him the basics. And we're going to kind of teach him as we play. So if you are a new player, this is a good video to watch through because we will be explaining some basic concepts as we go. If you're more an experienced player, we'll try to rush through some of the stuff he already gets. Uh, so it should be a little slower and longer than the usual ones. Just warning you if you're an experienced player watching this. But there aren't many players, or aren't many videos on YouTube I can find where there are three humans playing too many bones. So I think that's why you guys are asking for it. Here it is. We'll try to get a four player going eventually. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that when we get that going. But we're going to teach Justin how to play. We're going to play through here. Let's get down to the table and see what we've set up. Okay, so we got it laid out here. We got our adventure map where we'll track our day counter. We have our tyrant with a die we were showing Justin how it worked on. Uh, we got Mole Mesh. And Mole Mesh needs six encounter, or six progress points before we can even attempt to fight him. And we have to do it within nine days, okay? Mole Mesh, we can take a look at Mole Mesh here. He is eight health, goes at six, very high in the initiative order, so he'll be attacking before us usually. He has two attack dice, rolls his tyrant die, he has frenzy two. So if he rolls no bones on his first attack roll with those two dice, he can re-roll those dice again and add all those attack values up. He has Retreat. If he's ever at 3 or HP or lower at the start of his turn, he can leave the mat, come back in at the end of the round, full health, ready to go. And he's got Shrouded, which means Molmesh can only be targeted by adjacent units. Okay, that's Molmesh. He can move diagonally, he's melee, so he can go around the mat however he wants, and melee means he has to be adjacent to somebody to even hit them. And we'll put him up there. He needs, like I said, six progress. So we'll got to go along this route. We're going to track progress with this little marker here. Leaving out from Obendar, where the humans are. We're going to go out on an adventure and take those tyrant that scared us out of our forest here in Daylor. This is the world of Daylor. Um, his tyrant die. He could roll what is known as Silver Hide. That's this kind of see-through fox here. Uh, wolf. Uh, Molmesh cannot take damage from attack dice until his next turn. Okay, just the white dice. We still damage him with skills. The Silhouette Howl. All units friendly to Molmesh immediately improve one spot on the Inny Meter. Cannot go higher than Molmesh. Okay, so they'll jump on the initiative track. Could get ahead of us. Could start attacking us. Could get really bad. Okay, that's what he could do on his turn. The baddie types. We have the Beasts. I believe they're called the purple. We have the bog, the green, and the scales, the teal, which is basically dragons, frogs, and lizards. <laughs> and we have some birds and wolves. That's how I understand it. The animals, the, the the reptiles, and the dragons, which are kind of reptiles, but they're fake. So you know. <laughs> dragons are poisoning real. frogs are real, right? So <laughs> they're serious. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, that's Mole Mesh. He's one of the easier. He is a two length out of six, so he's gonna be a little shorter. This video shouldn't go. I figured we'll do a shorter one to teach Justin here. Uh, so we can learn. I was thinking of starting us on the uh, more basic mode of Adventurer, but we're going to do Heroic Adventurer. He's played enough Gloomhaven. If you haven't seen it, we've played through Gloomhaven. Uh, we've played through more than Gloomhaven. We haven't got Forgotten Circles yet, but we played with Justin a lot of those adventures, uh, those scenarios in Gloomhaven. So he's a very seasoned gamer. So he should be able to figure this out. So we're going to play on just Heroic Adventure, which is like medium difficulty, where we will each gain an additional HP right now. Take an HP and bump your health stat up by one. Thank you so much. So I am playing as Gilly. Gilly is the ranged gear lock. I now have five health, three decks, two attacks, zero defense to start. Range means I can target anyone anywhere on the map. We'll talk about my skills as I get them. We'll talk about my backup plans as I use them. If you already know how this game works, you know what these are. If you don't have Gilly, you can go check out my Gilly unboxing, actually, where I go through over all this stuff. As I opened Gilly, we went through the sheet and talked about his stuff and how he works. There's also a nice video from... Chip Theory Games that goes over Gilly. You can see all, about all of his stuff. And Mel, you are playing Patches, which is the healer. And yep. Justin is playing Picket, which is a more defensive tank wall kind of guy. So he's looking to take hits for us. Mel will be, she's up front. She's a, a combat medic. So she is a melee guy. So she'll kind of be on the front lines. But she'll be trying to keep herself alive by healing. Keeping Justin alive as his shields are failing him some points. Keeping him alive. And hopefully keeping me alive in the back with my... A little more weaker range guy, but the idea is I'm ranged, so I'm in, I can start in the bottom row. Enemies always start up here, so I'm a little bit further away, so hopefully for a round, maybe I can avoid being attacked while you two are taking the hits up front, and then you guys take the brunt of the hits. But sometimes range guys are attacking the weakest guy on the board, which could be hitting me even in the back row, because 
they can hit anywhere on the map. Right. So things like that will happen. So she'll be keeping us alive is the idea. This is why we took this pairing. Mel has played patches before on the channel. You can check that out on our two-player videos. Uh, we have uh, three uh, two-player playthroughs already on the channel. So go check those out. They're all in a playthrough uh, playlist where you can see also myself playing solo some of these different gear locks, trying them out, trying to learn the game. And eventually, I'll keep saying it, we're trying to get to the Age of Tyranny, which is an expansion we have, thanks to Chip Theory Games for providing that, to get us to do a campaign. So Justin's here learning this today uh, to hopefully eventually we'll get into a campaign where you play tyrant after tyrant and you can pause it kind of in the middle, carry it forward, get skills and scars and boons and all that stuff, carry skills and, and stat dice forward and stuff like that to do a longer campaign over a few sessions. So that is coming to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss that, but we'll get to that eventually. And also want to state, if you don't see any rules goof ups or any strategy tips or anything you want to leave for us down below, uh, in the comments, just use a timestamp if you mention anything specific that's at a specific time so we can go back and look at that. But leave any general strategy below in the comments. Always appreciate it. Thank you to everyone on our previous videos who's left comments below. I read them all. We look at them before we play and try to make sure we correct those things. Hopefully we don't make those mistakes twice. We'll see. But anyways, let's get to it. So... Uh, we are on day one. Oh, and sorry, we get an additional training point as Heroic Adventures, what I wanted to get to next. So that's why I started talking about our gear locks. So you're allowed to take a training point. So what we can do is look at our reference sheets, if I can find mine. So for Gilly, for example, I have this reference sheet that'll describe my skill dice. Or it might talk about our beginner build strat, which we're going to try to follow here in this game with Justin. So it's recommending Gilly needs at least one defense to start off with. So <laughs> right there, I have none. And normally I would roll to train for it, but because I have zero, I have no dice to roll to train, so I'll automatically get my first defense. But on future defense, if I want to get to two, I have to roll a defense die, hopefully get no bones to be successful on that that training stat. So I will go as that is my first training point on Heroic Adventure mode, but then from this point on, the only training points we'll get are from encounters that we will complete. Uh, so Justin, what's yours say on your beginner to use? Dexterity. Okay, you're bumping up your decks to three, so now on your turn you can roll up to three dice, any mix of attack, defense, or skills if you have them. Obviously to start you have three total dice here, attack and defense. So for you to even roll that, yes, you would need to bump your decks up. So that makes complete sense. Mm -hmm. Mel, what are you taking first? Uh, mine says a dex and another attack die or patches first priority. So I'm going to start with dex. So interestingly though, in your situation, Yes, well, we should get some training points. We are going to do the normal first day one to three encounters from the core set. This is Justin's first time playing. We want to show him those. Didn't want to mess around with anything from the Age of Tyranny like we've been doing lately. Um, so we know we're going to get some training points given to us on day one. Right. At least one. So you could then go for your attack. But right now it's right. kind of weird because you've taken three decks, but you literally have only two defense or one attack, one defense right. roll, and no skills. So it's kind of like a wasted dex. You Maybe may... I want to move. This is true. Maybe you want to move. But I was just for <laughs> Justin's... I'm teaching Justin oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So he, you may want to go for the extra attack first. You don't have to do this. But the reason why you may want to do that is because you still have two decks. But at least on a turn, you can roll two attack if you're not worried about defense. Maybe you got some defense already locked up. Maybe you don't want to roll any bones. Maybe you just really need two attack that to help take guys out with a better offense. Because the best o a defense is a good offense, right? Is the idea. Uh, mm -hmm. So she's going to go with the decks because she knows training points are coming. Yeah. So that's where we'll go. That is to start us off here. Well, let's go to day one. I don't think I've forgotten anything else to nope, start here. So. Um, do you no. have to do this in the beginning? No. Nope, nope not until we, we have. We might a not have a battle on day one. That's right. Yeah. We won't have a battle on day one for sure. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> so, special encounter number one in the course says always the same. Yeah. But like I said, you can get Age of Tyranny to add some additional ones to it. And I think in Undertow, maybe there's some additional ones to mix in. But either way, only 12 hours till dawn. So this is leaving Obendar. Here we are. We're leaving Obendar. A little, little. We've, we've got scared out of our forest. We're back with the humans hiding in their castle here. And we're, we're little we're little troll-type, hobbit-like little... Elf, everything. Elf, yeah. It's a mix of all of them. That's where gear locks, okay? We love technology. We're a little little powerful elf, guys. So we're going to go out. We've, these tyrants are who are messing with our people. The humans can't offer us any help. Their guys are already doing their own thing. So we're like, let's screw this. Let's get out of here. So only 12 hours till dawn and the send-off ceremony that will no doubt change the lives of every remaining gear lock and likely every life in Daylor. Weapons and supplies are ready to go, but the night is young and adrenaline fills the veins. It's clear no sleep will be had tonight. There's sure to be some shady peddlers in dark alleys ready to deal in loot. Then again, some last minute training could pay a nice dividend by morning. So what to do, what to do. 
So our options on this card are here. We could squeeze in some last minute self-improvement, gain two training points. It's non-combat, that's what that symbol means. So both options are non-combat. And we could get two training points. That's, that's the first choice. Second choice, shake down a shady peddler. You would gain one training point and each party member draws two loot and one to keep. Okay, so we can get some juicy loot here to start. That could help us out, but at the cost of a training point. So if you feel you need to upgrade stats and or get dice, you take the first option, get some more training points. At least the second one, you still get a training point. But no matter what we do on this one, we still get a progress point to help us get to our tyrant. So what do we want to do? Justin's never Justin, seen loot, so he's unsure. I don't know what the loot. <laughs> what does this loot do? <laughs> Loot, like I said, it could be heals, it could be stuff to help your training not fail, it could be stuff to make you better attacks, it could give you new backup plan abilities, so different things you can use in your backup plan. It can be, what else? There's defensive shields, there's mm -hmm. extra armor, there's... There's, there's things for lock picking. Yeah, to help you with the lock picking uh, on troll loot and stuff. Yeah. Or sometimes there's an encounter where we get locked up, and there might be, you might need to, to break out of your locks by doing the little lock picking game. Mm. So there's stuff to help you with that. So anyways. All right, let's do the loot. Let's see what uh, I want. Okay. I just want to see. Yes. <laughs> so, just, so to help Justin see this loot, we're going to do that, that route. So first, let's take the loot. So I'm going to deal two to each. And we're going to one by one, we'll talk about what we got. So I'll go first here. So the two loot I got are throwing axe. So it has two uses. So Justin here to use the loot. Uh, if it had uses up in the corner, you have a certain amount of numbers. So if I have, if I've used it once, yeah. I exhaust it so that the number is straight up one. And so this has two. So once I've used it twice, it then gets discarded. Yeah. So throwing axes during your turn, roll one attack die and deal its damage to any unit on the battle mat. So this is one of those non-targetable effects mm -hmm. where I could roll attack on a turn, hit a guy next to me, and then use this to throw an ax at a guy, a totally different guy or at the same guy, no problem, but doesn't cost dex which is sweet, so this is an offensive item. Fortunate discovery, there is, I believe, five or six of these in this loot deck. These are important. These are one of two of the only ways to get consumable dice. Ooh. Each of us has yellow dice, which are consumable. Yeah, have two. When those are used, they are go back to your tray. They don't get exhausted and you get them back. You have to then earn them back with fortunate discovery, or sometimes you have a backup playing ability to get you them. Yeah, I have one. I don't think... I don't think I, I, don't I do. Think you do. No. no, you might not. That's okay. But... Uh, yeah, so fortunate discovery is just a way to get a consumable die and place it in a spot on your mat. It's now available for use. So I have to pick one of these. Uh, I, I would assume we all can look together. So what did you get, Mel? So I also got fortunate discovery, okay. um, which you already went over. Yep. And then I also got single berry, or sorry, mixed single. Berry. <laughs> mixed berries is single use. Heal yourself for three HP in battle or five HP out of battle. Ooh. So that's not bad. Okay. I like both of those. And just I got you uh, Troll Brew, single use. Outside of battle, permanently increase your health stat die by one. Okay. At the start of your next battle, reduce your current HP by three. Ooh, that's risky. Okay. Uh, the other one's Raider Armor, which is permanent. Ones rolled on your defense dice may be upgraded to two defense. Uh, bones rolled on your defense dice must be converted to, or uh, may be converted to one defense. So you basically get to uptick a die. So when you roll defense, you yeah. could then uptick each one by one. So this would become a two. This one would become a one. Yeah. And crazy that you just flipped that over because I, you're picking the defense master. Well, obviously I'm picking this yes. one. Yes. <laughs> so, so the other thing is that keyword on the end, heavy. Yeah. It takes up three of your true of your loot slots out of four. So now if you get any more loot, you can hold one more. And anytime you take additional loot, you can choose to like discard and reorganize. So just like Zombie okay. kind of. So heavy it is. All right. So Good that choice. one gets discarded. Heavy is the one. So no troll brew for you. This adventure most likely. I ain't that thirsty. Um, I could take a consumable extra mech leg, which is more bones. I can there's like slides on it with four bones and stuff, so I get my backup plans going more. Camo, which could help us reduce or increase the baddie points on a baddie queue, a battle queue, or bait where I could help myself re-roll my little uh, animals on my dice. I am actually going to choose, uh, mm -hmm. I'll just choose the bat, the throwing axe um, and get rid of fortunate discovery. I could also keep this if I didn't want to use it and in the next recovery phase, we can trade loot. I could just give this to you. I could give this to her and not take anything back, but I'm actually going to uh, keep my throwing axe. throwing axe goes well with your ranged things. Yeah, yeah, right. but it, it could. I could give it to you and then give you the ability to do a range sort of attack with this. So it, it's kind of kind of flexible, which is nice. Sweet. My decisions are very tough. Uh, healing myself in battle 
is always great. And then getting a consumable. When am I going to see this again other than I do Yeah, like here, I said, right? there's there's five or six in this 40 pile of loot. So, I mean, you could see if we get lower. We may never get more a chance to get loot and the rest of the adventure. We could get lots of loot, yeah. as we've seen. It's, and the problem it's is, variable. The problem is, one, getting my um, backup plan to, or my going up to an A plus one is using all the bones. So I'm not, I'm, I'm bypassing that. And then these two, healing a gear lock and needle jabbing, those are my two favorites to use. So I never... <laughs> So oh. liquid life that could bring, bring back a gear lock who got knocked out on a battle. You could bring them back into battle. Yeah. Poison dart. Yep. You could drop poison on any guy on the board. You can throw some darts and it could put a poison two, poison one, maybe even a poison three. I don't know. Uh, up to high. poison three. Yeah. Yeah. You could get a poison three onto the boss. You can get it onto a big five point or twenty point baddie if we if we see those. I doubt we'll see twenty. Oh, we, uh, we might, might actually because there's three gear player, locks. Yeah. Oh, man. I hope not. Uh, or you can get E-cells, which could be used to hurt the enemy or used in conjunction with Zap Pack, which you wouldn't get till later. Yeah. So, so it's, it's very tough. But you also have built-in I... heals, so taking an additional heal, you could just trade that off to somebody else who doesn't have a heal ability to keep yeah. them alive. You know, this may not be just for you, right? It could be just for our party, which is better. That's why I said let's all look at them together. So we can decide. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the berries right now. If it was later in the game, I think I would go for okay. the fortunate discovery. So we both but... said no to fortunate discovery. Oh. Okay, so that is the loot off the card. Now we can do a training point. So now we can spend another training point. You can upgrade a stat or you can get one of your skill die going. Um, it says on my sheet, after uh, I get at least one defense, get HP up to five or six. So I am actually going to go to six and take another uh, HP and just be kind of boring and but I want to stay alive. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, health. Health, okay. So you automatically... I think so. I just want to double check. Yep. I'm pretty sure... Because remember we got a free health at the start so you could take that as that was my free health and see how it goes in the first couple battles to see if health is really something you need. Well then I'd have to go for my defense then. No, but then I'm... And then you have not enough decks to yeah. roll that defense. Yeah. Yeah, health it is. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to attempt my attack. Okay. As it said in my little blurb. And, and you got good. it. All right. Okay, and then we got a progress point. So we're going to move our little guy along our path on the way <laughs> to our six to get to Shalfist here to fight Mulmesh. Shalfist. So this card I'll throw underneath him here. It is done. That is the first day. Now we move on to, we, that was the reward phase. We're going to move on to the recover phase where we could trade loot at any point during the, the recover phase. So you can do it now. You can do it after if we got other loot or open up some trove loot, which leads me to the second option is lock picking a trove loot, which none of us have a trove loot, which is here. These things to do lock picking. We don't have that yet. So that passed that. Now our individual options are allowed to pick one of three. So we could either heal the full HP, which we already did, so you're not going to choose that. We could try for better loot. So if you didn't like what you had, you can toss it back, roll six attack dice on any amount of bones for that amount. You draw the top number of that many loot cards, as many bones as you rolled, and pick one, discard the rest. To try to get better loot, you could miss and get no bones, and you just lose that loot that you tossed away. Uh, or the third option is a scout. I'm going to scout to show how scouting is done. We all can scout if we want. If you want to get better, I don't think you need better loot, Justin. But Mel maybe says, yeah, screw it. I'd rather look for something else. But I'm going to scout. I'll roll a uh, D6 on a 3. I got a 3. So I can look at up to a 1 point batting off the stack. So let's take a look at what we got. So it is a bog pole, which is a ranged enemy by that bow and arrow on the bottom left. Ew. He will actually attack the two weakest. So he's going to have two targets every turn he goes. He doesn't roll any attack or defense. It's blank up here. But he has this poison one effect. So he's ranged. So anyone on the board, the two weakest, he will throw a poison one die on top of. If they already have a poison two or poison three on them, he actually resets it to one. So it's a way if you leave this guy on the board and he goes later, you could be getting hit with poison before your turn. And this guy goes before you and maybe turns it to poison one. That's we've seen that happen before. So you mm -hmm. kind of use this to your advantage sometimes, which is which is sweet. And he goes, has three HP to start and he goes at three in the initiative order, which is middle. And he'll start in a ranged position. So... He is pretty weak, but he's hitting two guys at a time, and he's ranged, so that kind of sucks. But his low initiative makes me not too worried about him. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to keep him at the top of the stack. Yep, I would too. Okay, I'm also going to scout, and I get a two. So we get to actually scout the next baddie in the queue. 
off the one. So what did you get, Mel? I got a Griffin Yearling. Uh, so two, uh, two health, five initiative, rolls two dice. He's melee. And he's going, going after, after the weakest, weakest breaking ties. So he'll always go after the closest as a melee guy, but if there were two guys that were closest, he would pick the weakest. That's the person with the lowest HP. And he has flight. So after his attack, and he's going pretty high in the initiative order, he'll most likely get to attack, fly away, and we can't even attack him until so round he's two. two health, so yeah. you, you can kill him. You, you can, can get, kill if somebody him. can yeah, go high enough in the initiative. Before him. Yeah, but it's rare. I don't think I can. Not it actually that, tells you score. on your initiative die on the back of your sheet, Justin. Mm hmm. It will tell you the possible faces on your initiative die. Oh, yeah. So what do you have? Two, two, three, 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 five. So the highest you can go is five and one chance on it, right? Woo! I but I think he's okay. I think I would All put right. him on the top. We'll see how it goes. Do you want to do the same? You want to scout? Well, that's my only option, though. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Yeah, because you're not going to... You're not going to trade four. four. So knowing we're on day one, and our next day would be obviously day two... And if it were a battle, which we know it's going to be, it would be two times the amount of gear locks, three. So that's five batty points, which means our Q if, would be made up of one five point batty. What? Two times three is six. Yeah. Two times three is six. I'm being dumb and <laughs> adding okay. them and not multiplying. Okay. Wow. That's okay. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so it's six points. What I was trying to get at was yep. we'll have a five point batty coming. You've rolled four and on a th Four or five, you He's can look it up five, to a five. You can still look at a one if you wanted to. No, nah, because we, we're going to get one, five, and one, one, right? Yes. Yeah. If the next one is a battle. So you can look at the top five. So show us what you got here. All right, here you hold it. And yeah. You read it. So it is a, like, the big brother of that <laughs> uh, yearling we just saw. This is a Griffin Howler. So he's coming in. The other one had two HP. This one's five HP going at five with three attack dice. He has the flight, so he does fly away. And then he does dive, which brings him back into play against near the weakest character. And on his turn, he's going to signal one. So the first turn that he's on the board, he'll actually put a one-point baddie at the bottom of the battle queue, which will come in at the end of that next round. So he, like, summons a guy in. Yeah. But he only does it for the first round. So if he had signal Flying two... squirrel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's how he works. He's melee. Uh, do we want him on the top or the bottom? I know you don't know if he's good or bad. You guys can choose. <laughs> what do we think? My suggestion would say to put him on the bottom because two... Cause... Because he brings more people with him. True. But then again, you're putting him on the bottom, so you might see him later. Yeah. And, and he only brings in a one-point baddie, which we terrible. know will be his little brother. Yeah. His Griffin yearling. So, I mean... It just sucks that you can't fight him on the second turn. I like him on the top, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, he's not terrible. But he could, that's two turns in a row, he could be attacking us for three, so it is kind of high attack dice. So maybe he's bad, but he's not ranged, so he'll be right up there where we can try to hit him. Yeah. But we need a five to go ahead of him on your die. So it's like, that's rare. So either I roll a five. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I so don't know. Yeah, so he's not terrible. So you're saying bottom. I'm well, saying top. What are you saying? Top, let's do it. Just yeah. Top, let's okay. just kill him. I'm all well, about, I'm all about this that. Could, this could be the downfall. If, that, if we don't have the stuff to take this guy out, he could take us out and we lose the thing and not get any rewards. So that is the end of that first day of recovery. We'll move on to day two. We'll draw our next encounter, which is hardly out the gate. Uh, 15 steps into the journey, 15 steps, and already a gearlock boot is stuck, uh, struck through by an arrow. Luckily, no toes were killed. Yeah. Teeth are clenched, and a painful tug is made while looking around in embarrassment. Yow! Now, sufficiently ticked, it is time to return the favor to the ominous figures at the edge of the woods. A commotion breaks out atop the city wall, interrupting all thoughts. Guards have now spotted the brazen intruders and are notching their arrows. Their help is at the ready. Like it or not, this adventure is underway. So, here's the options. So it is combat or combat. On the first option, hail the guards for help. So we build the batty queue with battle points, which we know is six. At the start of each round, arrows from the wall deal one true damage to each batty. So every round that goes, they'll drop down in a health. Recommended for first-time adventurers. Well, Mel and I are first-time <laughs> adventurers, but Justin is. But the awesome part, or the bad part is, you get no extra reward. You'll still get this stuff on the bottom if you win, and this, but you don't get any extra. But for the second option, it's time to show the Obendar what gear locks are made of. With Obendar watching, you feel an extra shot of adrenaline as you prepare for an unassisted battle. It's just battle cue batty points. After either choice, if the battle is lost, place this encounter back on the top of your encounter deck. So we would have to do this again if we can't beat it. So we're going to do the second option I vote because of the extra training point. Yeah. You get extra training point? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you get an extra training point for choosing that. 
Uh, nice. But we... so we get two total and a loot each and a progress point if we win. Oh boy. If we lose, this goes back on the top. We get nothing, and we have to do it again. Let's just... And we could pick the top one if we're worried that it's too hard, or our enemies we got are too hard. But we'll let's, set it up. Let's... We're gonna show you a true battle. Here. Let's just smash. Yeah, okay. we'll throw you right into the thick of it. So now we're gonna do this. Set it up. So. Does anyone have any before battle effects? I do, actually. I get to scout, uh, which is my innate. Let me just read to make sure I know how it works. Before battle, reveal a baddie, 1, 5, or 20 in this active stack. Gilly may cycle it to the bottom of the stack. So I'm actually going to look at the next 5-point baddie. And it is a hardy, inspire 1, 6 health, 3 attack, kobold fanatic. Uh, I don't like that guy early here. Because he's inspiring the next guys and he's hitting for three attack dice, six health with Hardy means he's going to stick around the board for uh, multiple turns. Yep. I'm going to throw him on the bottom actually. And that's that. Okay, so that's my ability. Uh, the next, we'll set up the Batty Q. How do you know if you have an ability? It says Yours it. is actually the start of battle. After we've set up all the baddies on the board, before we're about to start fighting, we're already on the board. Mm -hmm. You get to then do your roll your defense dice and then put them up here. So I just had a before battle. You have a start of battle, which is a little, a little different bit window. Different timing. Sure. So uh, let's build the queue. So the queue is, like I said, uh, after Mel corrected me, uh, my bad math. Two <laughs> times three is six. Yeah. Uh, so we go with one five, and now obviously we can't take any more fives. Don't fit into six, but a one will get us to that total of six. And you always put the fives, the higher guys, on top of the lower guys. So that is our baddie queue. So the first one coming out in lane one. Is this Griffin Howler? He's coming in at five HP, and he's going in a melee position in lane one, and he starts at uh, five initiative. Okay, the second one coming out comes in at lane two, and with three HP, and he's ranged, so he's going to start in the ranged position, and he comes at three initiative. Now we'll each roll. Uh, yeah, that's all the baddies. Mm -hmm. If there were any more baddies, you keep continuing until all four are maxed out on the board. The max that can be on the board is four baddies. Five. So I'm going at five. I will oh. actually, I could choose to go below the five or above the five. I will go above. Good call. Uh, so Mel, if you want to roll. Three. Three. So, so. I will go above this All guy. right, baby, let's go for a five. Yeah, two hits on him before. Oh. oh three. So you could choose to go anywhere go with the threes. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's or... go here. Okay. Above that, damn it. Yeah. Unless the only thing I'd recommend is maybe you go before Mel so that if you. Uh, no, she would know if she needs to heal you before that anyway. Yeah, but the, yeah, then if he takes damage, I'd be able to heal him. Before. Next round. The next round. Yeah. I'm just thinking is there anything you could do to hurt yourself on a turn? It's her that has the stuff that hurts herself on a turn. If she takes some of these weird dice yeah, that yeah. could like hit her back. We ain't there yet. Do you have anything again? I'm trying to think. Uh, not yet. I don't think so. Not right now, but I'm just thinking for future, just for teaching. I'm trying to catch everything I can. Anyways, okay, so that's that. Uh, now, now your start of battle effect, you'll roll your two defense. Right now is your current defense stat, so roll two defense dice in the tray there. And then you get I get to, to bump them both to two. Yes, you wow. can. Wow. And now put them in Does your active slot. though, only in battle? No, it, just no, says it, it works that way, yeah. Wow. Hey, guys. I'm a okay. I'm a tank. Yeah, you're gonna we're gonna rock this. Like hopefully, if you keep that going, you don't have. There are some encounters that we could lose loot, so that's the other thing to be careful of. Just lose your mixed berries. Well, no, <laughs> you only have one loot. So yeah. if it tells me all have to each lose a loot, oh, we that, all lose one. That's that could be bad. That stinks. But so we'll see what happens. But anyways. So now we're gonna place ourselves. Yes. So now we choose where we want to start. Uh, I will. I'm gonna actually. Um, I can only pick a range slot. I will hide back here so I'm kind of furthest. These guys can only move up to two spaces on their turn. So let's say I was the only one playing solo on the board right now, or you guys died or something. This guy needs to move two to get to adjacent to me. He can't get adjacent in a turn. So I'm trying to get further away. So if for some reason he could move near me, he won't get to me right away. Um, and I'm ranged so I can hit anywhere on the map. So if you guys are looking to smash this guy right away, get as close as you can to him. But, he'll, but he will he'll be, be in flying, the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to get to this guy, you'll probably want to be in one of these slots because you'll need to use a dex to get up to even attack him. I don't know where I'm going to who I'm going to try to attack first. I can only roll two attack dice. I could uh, just roll on this guy and take some hits off of him. 
Or I could try to take this guy out, but we all get a chance. Yeah, we could try to take him out before he he goes last, right? So yeah, and then this guy we can't hit next round, so we'd all just be sitting no. We there. can't hit him this round. Like oh, this round. Yeah, I wouldn't guys. get to hit him next round, but you guys could hit yeah. him next round. Yeah. Okay, so that's where I'm going. Um, yeah, Mel, where do you want to go? Do you have a preference to where you want to go? Who's got what decks? You both have the same three decks, yeah. so you both take you the like one could move for one decks, but someone would have to use two decks to get up to here. Mm -hmm. If you were going after that bog pole. Yeah. Now, the only thing is, if you wanted, I could go after the bog pole and you'd be ready to fight him once he comes back down. So we have to start in these two at the bottom? We can't start in these. You, yeah, no, you guys can only pick line. from one of these these four because you're melee. But if you were melee range, there's a the dual type gear lock. You can pick any eight, one of these eight slots. Nice. Range, I can only pick one from these four. Yeah. So there's the other option is, like Mel said, you could be just ready to attack this guy next round. You or kind of I just chill. Be. Or you both could go in these spots, which I would recommend. And I would say Justin goes here, so he just uses one dex. He's next to this guy to take the hits from him because he's beefed up. Mm -hmm. So he is here. So this guy would... Oh, actually... No, I would... Yeah, he, he would move in here. Side. This guy actually goes before you guys. Sorry. So he would move in this way if you guys were here to attack somebody. So you would actually not have a path around to this guy. But so you could go this way, right? One person could. Mm -hmm. So if you want to keep him where he is, someone needs to go here and just keep yeah. him there. Which if... I recommend would be Justin because you can take the three attack dice, maybe even two turns in a row, and probably take less hits. Yeah. And on the first turn when you can't attack him, you could just roll defense dice... And beef yourself. up. Because yeah. yeah. he'll most likely hit you with three attack dice and take does away some of Does he hit the weakest? Well, if you're right beside if him. If you're beside him, he'll just go for you. Nice. Okay, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Let's smash. So now here's the problem, though. You are weaker than him, right? Yes, you are. So That's a good way to you say. will be up here on the next turn. So he actually would choose you, depending on how. That's you... fine in the next turn. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the only thing. Is, yeah, that's fine in the next turn. So that's where you guys going in a reverse order might have made a difference. No, not really. No, because... No. Yeah, never yeah. mind. No. Nope. Okay. And we don't know that he... Yeah. So we'll just do this. Our most educated choice is here. And I will go first. So on my turn, I'm just going to roll uh, two attack dice, one defense. My three decks total. Three dice. I, I only have one defense and two attack. I have no skill dice to use. And I'm going to target this guy who's not flying yet, so I can try to hit him. All five. I could also roll an additional attack die. I could do this after, before I attack, mm -hmm. whatever, anytime on my turn. So depending on what I see here, I could try to take him out right away. But I probably would like to save this for a more important time later when we need to take out a guy where he's about to take one of us out and it could lose a battle for us. Yeah. So I might save it, but we'll see what happens here. So now I've rolled a 2, a 1, and a 2 on my defense. I will keep that, put in my active slot, so now I have some 2 shield ready to go. These dice, I will obviously choose to apply them, but you could always say I want to not apply them, or apply only one, like I said, uh, you can choose. So I will hit him for 3. So I'll lose 3, go down to 2 health. Wonderful. And that is my turn. I have nothing else I want to do on my turn. So it will now go to the num number 5 initiative baddie there, the Griffin Howler. So he's going to roll three attack dice. Oh, yeah. oh, I have to roll Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. Just so you're not doing nothing. Whoa. Uh, One, two, three. So you get two for four. Four. Hmm. hmm. So di defense dice always have to resolve first. You can't choose to use those. They will actually hit them no matter what. So it knocks sure. them both away. So boom, you take no damage. There you go. So that is him. Oh, actually, he'll then... Sorry. Fly. Before he rolled those attack dice, he would actually signal one and put a one-point baddie, which we know is coming, into the battle queue. He'll come into play at the end of the round. Uh, so that's signal one, and he only does it for one round, so he doesn't. Get, he's not going to signal anymore, okay. no matter how long he lives. If he had signal two, he would do it again on the second round. He's alive. Uh, okay. Uh, so the flight happens after he attacks. He's going to fly into the air, and on the next attack or next turn, if he's flying, he will dive next to the weakest player. If he's already adjacent to the weakest person, he won't go anywhere. Or we can choose him to fly and go to another side of the weakest person. We can we can choose, so we can oh. we can mess with him a bit if we need to. Um, so that's his turn. And then Mel's going to go. And she, her and Nate would heal her up one. Obviously, she's at full health. Yeah. She's not going to heal yet, but so, that's when her heal would trigger from her and Nate. Yeah. So I'm going to use one dex to move up here. And then I'm going to use my two remaining dex to roll my two attack die on this poison. The bog pole. Bog pole. Three, 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 three. Two. Uh, two. So it's down to one health left. 
Okay. So we didn't take it out. That's okay. So next is nothing else you want to do on your turn? No. Okay. And then Justin's going to go. So you have three decks. You can pick up to three dice. Well, I'm going to recommend your only three dice you can roll is two defense and one attack. But he can't do roll I need the attack? attack because he doesn't have any when he's attacking. Yes, that is true. So this guy is untargetable because he has flight. So you are not allowed to roll attack dice unless you have a target. Defense only then. Yeah. Unless you want to use some decks to move. But I don't see a point to that. No. So you rolled two bones. Now here's your option. You don't have to uptick them. If for some reason you're trying to build up to shield bash to hit someone with defense later, do over, which allows you to reroll dice. Benevolence, you take two HP, and then you can put a two defense stat die up there automatically. Or shield shock, which is like shield bash, but you can stun a non-tyrant baddie. Or you're trying to get to your six bones to flip your chip over mm -hmm. to become an eight plus one for the rest of the adventure. Your lock wall. Which would allow you to start putting defense dice in your lock slots also. Mm -hmm. So it's your choice. If you want to keep the bones or flip them up and make them defensive. He is going to probably... It depends Attack. who's the weakest. He's, he's the weakest. Well, it's me or Rob or Ty. Uh, he's not ranged, so he's not getting to me. But he dives. Oh, the dive, yes. So, but Sorry. he could just dive right here. Yeah, he may not be there next. Yeah, yeah, we can choose him yeah. to do that too, right? Yeah. So, your call. Do but you want to just I, defense I, up or start working on bones? Your call. It's either or. You can keep one, you can roll, make one into a one. So when I put my uh, bones here, yep. I lose those dexterity dice? No. Nope. But you do lose a uh, defense stat if they're locked up here. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, you're going to keep yourself a little open? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Seven health. Um, okay, it's a moment. So now the purple guy's guy going to go. He's going to poison me and you because he is seven. seven. You're seven. Six. I'm at six. You're at six right yeah. now. So yeah. we the weakest and then the next weakest will get poison. Oh, this changes everything because then you'll be the weakest because yeah. you're first. Yeah. So it's up to you if you wanted to use that remaining dex that you didn't use to move here because we didn't realize that. Cause no, let's that, just leave it. That, just show. Well, that, okay. Well, okay. just like whatever. It's the first battle. We'll learn. Uh, okay. So that's end of the round. Yep. Uh, so this guy will come in, and lane three is the next numbered chip. So he will come in with two HP. And he just melee. comes in at the bottom. And he's melee, so he's going here. Does he go now or no? No, nope. he'll okay. go the next end of the next round. So he comes in at the bottom of the queue always. This number doesn't matter anymore. None of these numbers matter anymore, actually. It's only for when you're doing the first setup. Oh, he has flight, too. Then we'll go on to round two, starting with me. Uh, and... So you will lose one? Ah, uh, yes, thank you. And then that comes off. Oops. Okay. Uh, so that's poison hitting me. It's true damage. So this defense doesn't work against poison. So that stays there, but mm. I just lose the health automatically. Um, so next is... Range? Uh, on this guy or that guy? Yeah. Him who he goes he, in the he's going to go in the air and fly and attack someone for two. So if I get him off the board, we don't have to deal with his two, two attack at the end of the round. But this guy has but poison. this guy will move. Uh, to the weakest, right. which so, is going to be me, right? But you, yeah. can't, you can't attack. But, so he will go here or here, our choice. Yeah, so either way, if Justin moves one, he could attack, but he's only rolling one die. So, I mean, unless he got a shield bash of two, he might, or rolled a two. I'll go for the poison guy on my turn. I only need to roll turn. a one. That's true. true. I only need to roll a one, so, that's true. I'm going to roll two attack dice. I have to choose my target before rolling. I'm not going to roll any defense because I have one locked in my active slot which is that one defense. So I could take this out and roll it right now if I want to, but I'm not going to get better than a two, so I'm going to leave that there. I don't care about getting bones right now. So I will roll these two attack, and I don't know. I guess this guy, because you're next to this guy, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll just go for this guy with nobody beside him right now and try to take him out. So I did not. So I do get a bones. I will apply. And you can do this in any order you want. So if you had a backup plan you want to do before applying attack, I could put this there and spend it, or I could spend other bones I had first, then put this in, or I could do the attack first, then the bones. Like you, you can resolve your dice in any order. So because I have two bones, I can roll my defense die, get two shields, then do the and shield pop dash. It off. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, yep. that's what I thought I was gonna do. Uh, so advanced movement. Uh, I'll attack this guy for one. Actually. I'll show you what I'm gonna do right here I'll ex for that example. So I'll pop this here, I'll put it there, I'll pop it out for my one time turn back a plan to switch targets. I'll switch my target to this guy and I'll apply this one attack and take him off the board. So 
Uh, he'll go to the one point. Batty Q defeated pile there. His initiative die comes out. His chip goes there. So the next enemy that would come in, if there was one, he would take that two next. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, is there a way... Eh, you guys have a chance to still get to him before mm -hmm. he goes. Yeah, so I'll just leave it. I'm not going to waste my axes yet. I could have done a throwing axe, try to take the guy out again, but I think we're good. So then this guy's going to go. So at the start of his turn, he's flying. So his dive comes into play, and he will dive next to the weakest. I will put him here. The reason why I'm putting him there versus there, and it is my choice, uh, our choice in general, because Mel could move one to get him, or one to get him, or you can move one to get him if you want. So it keeps him easy decks. Here is the exact same, one to get him, one to get him. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll just throw him there. But either way, I could choose which two. So he dives, then he attacks for three, three is it? Yeah. On me, which is bad, but I have two defense, so that's why I'm not too worried. So three will hit, two will go away, one HP will be lost. And then he, because of flight, he checks. If after he attacks, he has the flight die, it, it goes away. Now he's targetable again. And that is his turn. Now Mel, she can now choose at the start of her turn. Poison is in the same window as her recovery. So she could choose to heal one, then take the poison, or take the poison, then heal one. So I'll take the poison, then heal one, so that I'm even. But if she were at one HP left, she'd obviously want to heal one yeah. before taking that poison so she doesn't get knocked out. Okay, that's you. So that's a cool, a lot of options in this game where you can choose the order of things. They left it kind of open. Justin, which guy do you want to go for? Do you have a satisfaction of killing one specific? No, they're both two I health, know. right? Both okay. two health. One hits for three dice, one hits for two. That's the other option. If you miss, you'll be next to a guy who's going to probably whack you for that amount of dice. So whoever can take the three hit the best probably should go after Well, right that. now, no matter who, it would still be you. Okay. Just, but you never know what happens, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? You can't always true. predict that, right? That's true. Okay, well, I'll go this way. Sure. Using one dex. I got you, bro. I'll use my remaining two dex to roll my two attack on this guy and see what happens here. And he's dead. So that's three, enough to take out the two HP. <clears throat> and he will go to our defeated one point pile. All right, and then Justin. So I just want to clarify how the shield bash thing works. Mm -hmm. So you spend the two bones. Yeah. And all the defense dice that are here. If you had like six defense dice somehow that are there, you have to spend them all. There's no, I just want to spend two of them. Yeah. They all have to go away. So <clears throat> you could still roll attack dice and attack and shield bash before or after, right. depending on what you get. It's your well, choice. Well, um, I'm going to have to use a dex to move. Mm -hmm. Correct. So now I have two left. So I'm going to roll two defense. Hoping for two? Hoping for ones. Well, yeah, at least ones because of your raider armor. Oh, well, there's oh, there a two and him. a one. So you can uptick this to a one and shield bash for three, but he only needs two. Yeah. So you technically got it. You could take a bones. So you'd spend two bones. This bones could go in there after or now. Doesn't matter. Let's say it went in now. I'll show you how this works. Yeah. So you put it in now, and then you put this in. Okay. Yeah. Then you want to shield bash. You have to spend these ones that are on the leftmost. Yeah. Then this slides down. Sure. And that's that's how bones work. So. Okay. And then I'll use this to to, two. to shield bash that guy. Bam. Yeah. So uh, he is gone. Oh, sorry. But my first slot is nothing, right? Yep. So it'll just sit there. Uh, but because yeah. the last baddie died, the battle ends instantly. There's no more turns. Sometimes we do trickery, like we've seen in Gloomhaven, where you purposely like let the guy sit around for a while so I can get back to my turn. And I can do my one more heal or yeah, yeah, yeah. or what, try to get a loot or roll this skill die to try to get it locked before the next battle. But anyways, nothing. It just dies right there and ends. We take our initiative dice back, and your gear lock goes back to your mat. Yay! Goes this back home. Reset. We'll reset the round die to one. Now we go to reward phase because we were successful. We were. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the loot first. So this time, only that first one we get to choose two and look at them. This time you get what you you, you get. Uh, you can choose. So I got the stone hammer, uh, single use. Add four to an action die result during your lock pick attempt. Okay. So it just helps with some lock picking. What'd you get though? Uh, the Tauren gem. I don't know if I say it. Um, <laughs> merchants will offer you a trove loot chest in exchange for this gem. Replace this card with a trove loot during your recovery phase. Yeah. This does not take the place of your recovery options. Nice. Okay, what'd you get? Tattered map. At the start of a new day, draw an additional encounter card. Choose one and place the other at the bottom of your encounter deck. 
Well, so you can kind of cycle what you want. Okay, so now he's maxed out his four four spots. spots are taken up. You have two. I have two, but we still could take two more. Uh, all right. So the next thing is on the reward phase is the two training points we got. So how do you want to spend your next two training points? I'm going to start by trying to get the skill die going here. I just don't know which one. Um... And you just get it, right? Yeah, you just put it on your mat. You just unlock it now that you can now you'll be able to roll it. So for you it's recommended to either take, I think it says the healing. You have to take the star one First. if you're going out of these ones. So you'll yeah. you take that healing one, I think it is, right? Yeah. So I'd recommend that to start with. I think that's what it recommends on your beginner stat, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Well, yeah, it says um, choose the captain profession. Uh, once those skills have learned, move on to the hero. But yeah. That's just a beginner recommended. You can do it however you want based on the tyrant we're fighting or however, what kind of fun dice you want to roll. But yeah. remember, rolling one of these skill dice takes up decks. So if you start taking a bunch of skill dice and you still oh, want to attack two. or we defend... Two, right? mm -hmm. two. So two you skills. could upgrade a stat here or try for attack or try for defense. If you fail, you don't lose a training so point. when you... I roll for my defense, do I, I get to use this? <laughs> yes. Because yeah. as it just says, when you roll defense dice, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> also, this is now gone at the end of the battle. Oh, oh yeah. True, true. Your math, math's a reset. Aww. I know. Okay, so... You want to do this one at a time, right? Sure. So I don't know what to do, really, it, but it does recommend... To get to five or six HP, I'm already at six. Then it says switch to Dex so you can keep up with his companion maintenance. But I don't have any companions yet, but I could take one now. And Woven Snare, Marked Enemy. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'll take the Wolverine to show how that works. Uh, so I'll take him. He, I basically can roll. And depending on what I get, it could be a Bones and I miss. Uh, or I get a Wolverine guy, which will actually come out on the board. If I roll this side, it would be three to two HP, and he basically I can move him up to two spaces on a turn, and he automatically just does one damage to whoever. To keep him on the board, I have to waste a Dex on my turn. He always gets to go like a Summons and Gloomhaven yeah. on the turn right before me, nice. and he gets his own turn. That's okay. So I'll take does this. It, does he get attacked as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. So because it's only two <coughs> HP on those guys we just saw with ranged, we're going to hit the weakest enemies. And it'll hit him. Sometimes first, or including whoever else is weakest, but mm -hmm. it's just a kind of buys his turn. And his ability he has is hardy, so we only take that one damage on Every a turn, time. no matter so how much. Is, yeah, yeah, usually, usually. That's okay. So that's the idea. I'll take him just to show how he works. And then my other training point, um, I'm actually going to take. Uh, I'll take on I'll try for an attack actually. Uh, so I roll two dice. And I missed, so I have to spend this somewhere else. Uh, I will just go for a dex and bump up my dex to four. Okay. That's me. That's my training. I points. will take a med kit, which just has some heal. So put that she in can there. heal any gear lock with that, right? Yes. And I will att I attempt a defense. And it's good. So, uh, Beauty. Okay. All right, what are you thinking? I recommend the stand ground if you can get that regenerative heal going. Yeah, yeah the odds, though. But two if you want to try to roll more defense more dice, defense. maybe try that first. Yeah, I'm going to try the gear. Uh, so you're going to go up in dex? And up. You, could, you could do the defense first. You may not want to go up in dex yet, depending on what happens. Oh, yeah, because I have to roll this, right? So you can choose which For yet. For what? For the defense. For the defense, defense yes. You so can roll two defense dice. Okay, you can automatically change yeah, it with your radar armor. It, so so yeah, cool, you get it. So put a one in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so now you're at three. So it's your choice if you want to bump up your decks so that you can roll your three defense and your one attack one, or get a skill die going. One thing though, so we remove the bones and everything, but anything that's locked, so if you get that regen locked, that doesn't reset. That'll stay there forever. As long as you don't get knocked out. As long out. as you don't die. Mm-hmm. But so, I mean, you have time to keep rolling. How does it get locked? I have to get the six. No, 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 no you, you just, just have roll to roll it. it, and then you put it there. Oh, so, okay. on your sheet, yeah. bring your sheet over. So, here, it shows you. Um, so, we're talking about stand ground, which is yeah. the first one from the captain. It has the two regen on it, or a bunch of reusable bones. So, after you pop your shield bash, you can put them back here, re-roll it again, trying to get this val locked value. Um, but right here, it has the constant regen. has the L beside it, which means locked, placed in lock slot. Mm -hmm. So every turn, it's going to regen your health and can stay there in the lock slot even after a battle. So if you get it early in this adventure, it will keep doing it all the way to the boss all fight. Right, let's do it then. 
That's why she's saying try to get it now early so you can carry it forward. Yeah. Get it get it into battle when we have weaker enemies, you know, like and then carry it forward. Yeah, because so. you have time to All right, roll. let's rock. And see. No, that's it. Let's okay. do it. Okay, so okay. we're done all of our training points yep. out of the two. Uh, and we go up one progress. So we're at two out of six. Okay. And this will go under Molmesh on to day. Oh, oh sorry, recovery phase. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am at four out of my six. I'm going to choose to just heal. Do we want to trade any of our loot around? Well, sorry, I'm going to uh, oh. trade this in to You're the merchant. Upgrade for... to a troll of loot. Yeah. So that'll go in the discard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Okay. I would so, like to give this to somebody what is this who, one? Might, who might know how to use it better than me. <laughs> uh, so this is Tattered Map. At the start of a new day, draw an additional encounter card. Choose one and place the other on the bottom of your encounter deck. It doesn't matter. One. Yeah, it kind of does. If that gets unlocked and it's heavy, yeah, yeah, which yeah. some so of these are, I'll just, I'll just hold it for now. Maybe okay. I'll pop it on the next one. Uh, not the next one, but the one after that, maybe. But this allows me to get another loop now. It's fine. Yep, Also, exactly. may, might allow us to avoid the Tyrant encounter, too. Um, so... Uh, we traded loot. Yep. We could still trade loot again, depending on what happens here. We each get a lockpick attempt. So let's learn how a lockpicking works and teach Justin here. Do, so do, do. I will go first here and make a lockpicking attempt on Mel's loot, which we're all allowed to work on each other's loot overnight. We're sitting here. We're each taking an attempt. You can't sit there all night working on it. We got to rest for the next day. Mm -hmm. So we're each going to take an attempt. How it works is there's these little lockpicking dice. Each one is colored based on the color of these locks. It doesn't really, doesn't differentiate that well. But first one's bronze, gold, silver. Okay. So on the bronze die, this is lever, trip, and force. Mm -hmm. the different lock types. So to pick a lock, we have to start working on from left to right, lever. Once you get one unlocked, it stays unlocked till the next attempt. So let's say today we've only got the first two unlocked. And then we have to wait till after the next recovery phase. It would still be the first two would be unlocked. We could all just start working on the third. Wonderful. But... We roll these. So obviously on the, the lever, L is the first one, lever, L, uh, the most of them are on the bronze die. So 1L, 2L, 3L, and the other sides there's some force on here, which is the third one, and there's also probably a trip of some kind. Yes, two trip are on here. Okay, the gold one is the middle one, which is trip. Obviously there's gonna be the most trip. One trip, two trip, three trip, and there's also a three lever and a two force. So there's a little bit of a mix on them. Uh, and then the force die is a silver one, so obviously there's the most force on here, but there's also two lever and also three trip. So that matters because we'd be rolling this in intuition die with it. And you roll this together, and this has three symbols on it. This one allows you to convert a die. So if I need trip and I rolled an L, I could convert this L to a T, and that would count as one trip or an F or whatever. Mm -hmm. This die, the plus one with the swirl, means I could add plus one to a value on a die and keep it for the next lock I work oh, on. Oh yes, you okay? don't lose it. Because when you spend a die on a lock, let's say I got one lever, let's say I roll this and I want to use that to open the first one. I exhaust it. Now for the second lock, I only get to roll these two dice together. Mm -hmm. But if I got the plus one, this would be two lever, I could use it and then I get to keep it yep. for the next roll. Then there is the re-roll, one die. So I could choose to select any one die and re-roll to try to get my value. All right. And the cool part, on the first time you're attempting a lock per person, per attempt, per day, I can choose, if I don't like my first roll, just re-roll the whole bunch, but yeah. only once. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's get uh, it. So I'm going to try to open Mel's loot working on one lever. Some real splinter cell okay. stuff going. Uh, so I got 3L, but the problem is it's on the second gold die, and I don't want to waste that. So what I'm actually going to do is convert the bronze die which is normally the lever die i'm going to convert that to one lever or three lever and lock that up okay sure. uh the next attempt so i take these dice and i'm going to try for four trip okay i did not get it but you even converting i only can convert to two trip but you know what i'm going to do i'm going to use my stone hammer i'm going to add i'm going to convert one to trip and then add four to an action die result. So I'll use this, this item to just get the four we need. So what we're gonna do to show that the first two locks are open, uh, we'll just put these little gold tokens. Normally you would line up these little things to these red dots, but this slides around and we may forget what's what. So we'll just put it for video purposes, obviously too. We'll just put two little gold dragon coins on there to show the first two locks are open. So you used one of these, So I did which use, one? Uh, I'll use the gold one, which is a trip die. And that's okay. what I spent. Then on force, I'll roll these two. 
and I didn't get it. I only got one F and I can convert it to a different, but I need F so that didn't matter and it's no way I can do it. So that's that. I unlocked the first two. Let's let Mel work on her. Actually, let's just yeah, do, do it. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> so you're gonna work on you're just trying to get three force. Three force. And remember you can re-roll this first attempt. No, three you force. You got it. Okay. So Mel's trove loot is now open. This little transformer unlocks noise. Yeah. Oh gosh. This is fun. It's like splinter cell. It's <laughs> a little gonna, side game, it's gonna... awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I got nothing. <laughs> so tiny little art here, if we can get it close, is the micro neural implant. It's permanent, so it'll stay with you. Yeah. On your turn, you may choose a target after rolling your dice. So normally you target, roll your dice, she can choose it after. So she can change your target basically. Oh, but they still have to be adjacent to me. She should give that to uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Can she give that to you? Yeah. Ranged I, anywhere. Yeah, he's better. So that's a trove loot. So we but... still can train, you can trade loot as much as you want in the recovery phase, that's okay to do. And we each did our lock picking, let's say you, you don't obviously want to lock pick, there's no more lock picking to do. Mm -hmm. So now our individual options, uh, which Stout. is, we're not still on day two. I've already recovered. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna what scale. are you recovering? Well, oh. he was I recovered for health. Where I was full. I think you're full too, right? Yeah. 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 So you guys can just do some scouting. Okay, I Ooh. rolled a five. I will look at a five point. All right. So what you got was oh. a dire wolf, six health, four initiative, four attack dice, lash back two, and his melee. And if he has a chance to attack two guys, he'll go after the weakest. Four attack dice, six health with lash back. Hmm. Remember, he doesn't lash back on the turn you take him out. Or, like, you won't hit it back if you do the killing blow. So he is terrible, but I'm sure there's worse in there. So it's very tough. But are you okay about us getting hit with four attack dice right now? Because we our attack's not high enough, I don't think, to take this guy out in one shot yet. He's good later for that reason. Like all three of us could, but... Well, but then, then the first get... two people would be taking lash back, too, if you're adjacent. I don't take lash back if I'm ranged, range. if, as long as I'm not adjacent to him when but I you attack. You or I would. Well, not necessarily. If I attack first and say take off three health, yeah. someone else attacks, takes off the second three health, they don't get lashed back because he would die on that turn. So we could handle it if you want to keep him on. It's your choice. Yeah, I think we'll keep well, him on the okay, top. Let's see. Um, okay, see him on the top. I can't hit for three, so. I mean, my shield bash if I You want to scout as well? Yeah. What else would I do? No. Uh, Heal, you could but toss you're... a loot away and yeah. try to find better loot. Nah. Six. Six. So you can look at a 20, a five, or a one. A 20, you were not really there yet. So are we going to be on day three? So we'll be getting nine. Correct. Yeah. Okay, I'll look at another five then. Okay. So. Oops. Oh wait. So wait. The five is the one we're getting already, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you can look but at the next one in the, the pile. Next time. We don't know that the next one's going to be a battle. Oh, that's true. Are you good? Yeah. All right. Here we go. So it is a dragon delinquent, seven health, six initiative. So he's going like really high in the initiative order. Attacks for two dice, two two attack, two defense. He has engulf. So his damage. Let's see. He rolled a two attack on you, on his target. Anyone adjacent, so not diagonal, but let's say you're here and he hit you here. Anyone adjacent, including himself or bad guys or good guys, whatever, he will hit all of them for two also. Shields can block it. Then weaken on his backup plane, actually has the bone symbol under it, means if he rolls a bone on his turn, he will do this once per turn. He can weaken two, which puts a weaken two die on you, which means you have two less decks for your next turn. Okay? And then it goes away on your turn. I know, right? Annoying. And he's ranged, so he will sit up in one of these spots and do that remotely. So it may take some time to get to him. Um, but that is a dragon delinquent. How much health does he have? Seven. Seven. And he's rolling defense die to each turn. If any get locked up on him, like us, exactly like us, let's say he rolled his two dice, and one was the defense here, it would go up on top of him, and the bones would make the weak and two happen. But on his next turn, he has a defense locked up there, just like you would, so he only rolls one defense dice now and two attack. So there's that also. But that seven health is now protected by a shield also, so that's how he works. What do you want to do? I know you don't know what else is in there, but you've seen one five seen point. You've seen two five point baddies now. This one seems like the worst so far. So you want him on the top or bottom? Let's have some fun. Your choice. If we put him on the top, he goes before... He he would go, go he would go where the, he just was. Yeah. We just keep him where he is in order. Oh. Or he goes on the bottom and we may or may not deal with him later. Oh, but later, we hopefully are rolling more attack. We have oh. better we have defense. Let's go later. Let's later. Go later yeah. So he, he will go on the bottom of the queue right now. And yeah, that is that. So we know that we have a latch back to pup coming and a die roll coming. That's it. Uh so I I healed up so I don't scout. We're done the recovery phase on to day three. So three and three is nine, right? Mm-hmm. So there's 
four but ones. Why it might not be a battle? Oh. We know what it is because it's Special Encounter 3, which is the same every time. Crossing the Cibaron. The Cibaron River is a glistening vein of trade running the length of Daylor. That is right here. Uh, Cibaron River right there, see? So it goes right through there. Oh, very nice. <laughs> uh, it's refreshing. So uh, playfully beckons as it shimmers the in the daylight up ahead. But with so few bridges in these parts, this crossing is an obvious spot for enemy scouts and traps. A journey of this importance leaves only two options. Tucking in the ears and trying to blend in a risky but uh, is risky but efficient. So we're trying to look human, so we hide our giant ears uh, to sneak across the bridge. Or a boat at dusk carries less chance of discovery but requires business with the Molnor. Molnor are some shady traders, so they could have drawbacks. First choice, tuck in your ears and walk like a commoner. So we would roll a d6 for each party member. On a one to two, your party is spotted. Find the first tyrant encounter in your deck and place it on top. So we'd have to go find that one that we shuffled in from Molmesh. It becomes the next encounter we're gonna play on day four. Then shuffle the remaining cards and keep them underneath. The encounter success is achieved no matter what the outcome is in this first choice. So we would get a progress point, no combat, a training point, and another progress point. So it's actually two progress going that route. Or the other choice is hire the Molnor to take us across in that boat. So the Molnor are surprisingly easy to work with. Not only do they drop us safely on the east bank of the river under the cover of darkness, they also offer trove loot, a trove loot gift, it says. Maybe our success is good for business. Shuffle special encounter. So another special encounter uh, would get shuffled into the rest of our deck called um, the Molnor Traders. So we may or may not have to deal with that encounter later. But for this option, uh, we would get a trove loot each. Which you saw just how trove loot work. You see it can be super powerful. It is always better than regular loot. And but it could be heavy. It, but you would have to choose then what you keep if you unlocked one. Or you you could um, before I don't think you can trade trove loot until it's open. I can't I don't remember think though. So. But uh, let us know in the comments below if you know that. Um, but yeah, so we could get some trove loot, but we could run into the Molnor later. Or we can get some Or progress. we can get another training point training to get another die going or a stat going and get extra progress out of it. So a little bit risky, but we could get a trove loot, which are rare. Or we can get some training to make our guys better for well, the days coming up. we just got a trove loot though, like. Yeah, mm -hmm. your choice. Mm -hmm. But if we all get a trove loot. So but that anyway. also takes that much longer to unlock it. Right. Maybe. Some of them are, are different. So just for example, the next one is a one, two, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes they're a little higher, four, two, two, three, 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 four, one, one. Some of them are up to six, I've seen. So those take a while. But they are the better stuff. So it's kind of cool. Uh, at least the ones I've seen with the higher lock numbers are usually seem to be better items. I think that's how it's designed. But all right. Uh, so what do you want to do? You want loot or points? Points. Points, mostly because at the risk of getting the next tyrant encounter coming, but well, we have the tattered map exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. where I was going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so number one, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so each gear lock has to roll a d6, and on a one or two, we're spotted. So tuck in you your ears, roll a three try to walk higher. across the bridge. Okay, you're good, you're safe. Your ears are gonna tuck nice. Okay, those were nice. Oh. Hopefully, I tuck mine properly. I Woo. did. Your ears right. are tiny. Good probably. choice. So we don't even have to put the tyrant encounter next, but uh. See, we don't know what's coming next, so I can't even, at least with, if we failed that on purpose, or we can't on purpose, but <laughs> if we did, the tatter map would work great because we knew what was coming, but we don't know what's coming. Uh, okay, so let's do uh, one training point each. So I'm actually going to try for that attack again, and oh, I got yeah. it, so I go up one attack, no. Nope. I am going to take a dex Okay, to four. Justin, what do you want to do? I'm going to take a dex too, so that I can roll my three defense in this stand ground. Perfect, yeah. okay. And you have an attack that you can always roll too. Meh. At some point you want more than one attack die, Justin. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, so next is uh, okay. two progress. One, two. So we need two more to be able to fight Molmesh, and that is day three. We're moving along very well, I think, so yes. far. So these so, are the three to get you started. Okay, now we're just started. Now, now the real stuff yeah. happens, starts. Now, okay. Oh. Now we don't know what's coming, but now we're in recovery phase. So, so if anybody wants to trade anything, uh, I guess I'll keep that tatter map. Do you, and does anybody want this? Is there a reason? I think changing a target 
I know I'm the range guy, but in general, giving You're it to a range your person, anyways. I can choose anyone on the map, so it'd be cool. But you have the to choose them first. Is, yeah, the only difference is you could be targeting someone and then based on your result, target someone else. Yeah, and then so I don't have I to think... waste bones to switch targets like I normally yeah, would. I'll yeah, I'll give that to you. All right, it's not heavier. Do anything? you want me to hold the map or are you okay with that? Sure, uh, yeah. Yeah, you just can make so that, that choice. I don't want to. Have to and do I have person. to do it, or it's just optional. Well, just at, at the start, start of a new day, day, draw an additional encounter card. So we have to do it. So I would say you have to choose this at choose the start me. of the day, and we don't know what's next. So it's your choice. Okay. No, so we don't, can't do that. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah, yeah. But it could be to get. To... Oh, it's single use. I see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. We're choosing it when it's happening. Okay. Oh, so that uh, art stays there every time now. Yeah, yeah, that's just how we do it because we knew the first three. Yeah. If, if we didn't know the first three, because there's decks we have to shuffle in new ones. Uh, I put it on the top all the time. So yeah. then we just have no idea what we're getting. Yep. Not that I have memorized any of these 30 encounter cards we have. I don't know by the title what's coming oh, up yeah, on the yeah. back of the card. But it's nice to know if it's a combat or not. But I make it so it's, we're blind. Uh, all right. Yay. So, so we're done. Uh, no, we're, oh. we can scout in recovery. Yes. Everyone's full. So we're I, full health, so we're not healing. Scout first. We'll go this way. Sure. <sighs> we can try to find better loot if you didn't want, if we think the tattered map's kind of all pointless. Right. Number one. Uh, all right, I mean, so you got a little direwolf pup. This guy is very harmless. Oh, three so health, cute. three initiative, only one attack die, and he has lashed back one like his big daddy. He only lashed back for one. Yeah, leave him on top. Yeah, yeah. he's he's awesome. Yeah, you're right about this. Maybe instead of scouting, I'll see if I can get something better. I okay, don't, I don't care. So for this. it's toss back no matter what. Roll six attack dice, six. and this is a better loot attempt. Oops. You better and get one, some two, bones, two, man. Perfect. It might happen where she doesn't. Like yep. that, so she doesn't get any new loot. Okay. That's the risk. But it's okay. I think we're good with that. Yeah, okay. And you want to scout? Uh, sure. A one. So I will look at the next guy after the lashback pup. And it is a poison two bog frog, four health, no attack dice, but poison two. And he's melee, trying to poison the strongest guy if he has to tie. I will just keep him on top. That's fine. Yeah, he's not that bad. Uh, okay. I think that's it. So on to day four. Here yep. we go. Let's see what's next here under the card. It's not blue. <laughs> not blue. So encounter our ducks in a row. The barons attract all types of reclusives, wackos, outlaws, and illegal entrepreneurs. Come across a rickety homestead. It's anyone's guess what you'll find. And if an opportunity should arise to gain an advantage in the coming battles, well, who's to say what passes as a noble or useful side quest? With said shack just ahead, it's like... It looks like we'll have the chance to find out what such opportunity holds. From a distance, it seems like a harmless farm of sorts, but we Gearlocks know never to trust the first impressions, especially this far north. Only option, kill a farmer, or sorry, help a farmer in need kill those rats. Not very epic task, but no story is complete without a quest to clear rats in the basement. One progress and one uh, training point if we win is our only option. It says, the number of rats you must face is your party size plus one. So that's four rats. Roll a d6 for each rat and decide its HP. Five. So make a stack of five health. Six. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you roll an excellent. Five. Good, buddy. And three. Six. Okay. Three. That's right. Three. Six, five, My God. One, two, three, four, five. And, and a three. three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Place HP stacks on the battle mat in the melee positions one through four, Death. then the ranged, but obviously we end there. Mm -hmm. uh, the rats don't move or attack or take a turn. Place gear locks in their starting positions. Okay, uh, let's roll our initiative dice. Six. Three. And five. Okay, so we can choose where they start. Uh, I'll just start here, sure. I can only pick a range but spot. But they don't attack, right? Okay, but listen. Place gear locks in their starting positions. Party now has one round to deal as much damage to as many rats as it can. Treat this as a normal battle. If your party defeats at least all but one rat, you succeed. So we may fail and not get the progress of a training point. If you manage to kill all the rats, the farmer is very pleased and gives you a tattered map. Shuffle special encounter in the ebonite doorway into your encounter deck, if not already in, which is not. So you want to do your shield wall <coughs> first. What does the shield wall do? Uh, roll your defense die. Oh, yeah. So I get Because you might be able four? to shield bash. Uh, no. No, you get three. Three. Yeah. three. three defense dice is your stat. Okay. And because of this, these go to ones. Yeah. And then you can lock those in because maybe you can do a shield bash on one of them. Two, uh, but now, three, four. Now what? You won't be able to roll any defense. But he could but choose could... to take those out. That's fine. But so you, Yeah. Okay. Anyways, then we will choose your starting spots. 
So the idea just is we want to take off at least three of these guys off the board if possible. I don't know if that will be, but Mel is choosing to go oh, after the weakest yeah, like, one. Well, I roll three attack dice. I can pick whichever guy, but I go first. So I will choose to weaken one. I can pick based on where you guys are to weaken one up in front of you, but we each kind of need to take out one ourselves. I could choose a different target after rolling. I could throw some uh, axes at a guy too, which I may do that just so we can succeed on this one. Um, so that's me. But get in front of one you think you can take out. Well, I only roll two die. I can never take out a five. So. But I could weaken one up in front of you by rolling a couple attack dice myself at it first. But then you're not taking it out, so then we're both working on the same rat. How much can you yeah, weaken it? Yeah, because my attack dice I'll roll on like this one or this one or this one or this one, and then I'll throw axes at another oh, okay, one. Okay, okay. How much does the axe damage? Uh, I roll Depends. an attack die. Just so one? I, well, I can do it tw I can use this twice and then toss it away. Might as well use it twice. Yeah. But I can do that any time of my turn, so I can do that before or after attacking and see how my attack went. So I may not use it. If I wipe a guy off the board, I may not use it. So Mel's saying she only rolls two attack, mm -hmm. so she may go here. Justin, you only roll one attack. Mm -hmm. But he has a shield wall. But if he, he can roll. could if you get two bones. And you might want to roll this to try to get bones because there are four sides with bones on yeah. it. Yeah. Because you're looking for bones here, so then you can pop a shield thing off and, and kill. But right now, you don't roll any defense, so you might want to take some of these out and roll. But based but then, on that, choose to start somewhere and attack a guy. So, well, oh. I think I have to go here. I can, yeah, going for the, yeah. the weakest one. And then if you want to go for one of the fives, then hopefully Rob can... I don't know. Yeah, I have to. Okay. We'll see what happens here. All right. We, we are all before them, right? Rob's first, yep. Oh, they don't they don't, they don't do anything. We have one round to just do what we can. Okay, so I will roll three attack dice. I will go for this fiver. Uh, no. Do I have... Oh, I have four decks. Oh, that does not work out for me. Uh, and I'll defense. do the defense. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I, yeah, maybe I could split targets. So, yeah, that's a big. Uh, so, oh. yeah, that's sucky. But yeah, this sucks. Do you, do you use one X to do a reroll? Or, oh, or that's a different target? Well, I could put these and it just splits targets. So I could use my dice on different guys, but right, I didn't have... get there. Uh, so, one attack here. And then I will just throw one axe at the guy I was attacking. Wow. <laughs> so we're not, I'm not killing him. So that, I'm just not going to spend the other axe. So, yeah. yeah. Rolling five, five, and six is like an early when we don't have much attack. It's yeah, kind of yeah. tanked us here. It's okay where nothing bad happens, right? Yeah, if I rolled a two on that, I may have tried again. But I'm not going to try again because it's impossible for me to roll another attack and get the guy. So... Yeah. All right, well, I'll go next on this one. Yeah. I kill it. Boom. Three, and then I have one bone, doesn't do anything. One defense doesn't do anything. Perfect. All right, Justin, roll it up. What All are you right. going to do? So what I, can, what I can do, I can roll four total dice. Yep. yep. Three of them can be defense. No, well, right now none of locked. them can be defense. So I mean have... I could take them out. And uh, roll some. Them. You don't have to take all you of them. Good, yep. So I would definitely try rolling your attack die yeah. and that red die. Yeah. Because so if, I get, if I get that locked, that'd be good. Yeah. Yes. Right? Okay. okay. So, so you did not get enough bones as your shield wall. Or, or shield bash, yeah. sorry. So you're literally only doing one damage. One attack. Yeah, and then that's going back to your... This can go here? Well, it could go there. Or, I mean, you could just put it back. It's not going to do anything there because we're going to reset the board. This yeah. is true. So yeah. we failed. That's that's that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then this is gone too, right? And we go back home. Home? Yeah, reset these. Womp womp. Okay. So we failed to get the rats out of the basement. The farmer doesn't is not happy with our work. Uh, we so that's it. Way this, too high on we'll those We'll just guys. toss that up there for a discard pile. It's weighted, I think. Uh, we don't go to reward phase. Obviously, there's no rewards, but we can recover. Um, so we're in the recovery phase again of day four. So I don't need to get any health back. No. Uh, I don't think we need to trade any loot. So scout time. Six. I will look at a five-point baddie. And we get a break corrosive stone golem, rolls three attack dice, two defense, seven health, goes initiative three, break his dice get exhausted, corrosive only for rolls bones. I don't like this guy with picket being around, so I'll put him on the bottom. I roll a one, so I will look at a one point baddie. All right, so we know we got a lashback pup. We know we got the, the bog frog coming. Now we know we have a clay golem, five health, two initiative, 
one attack die, but break. So attack, dice used to reduce his HP will be exhausted, mm -hmm. and he's melee. Yeah, he's um, fine. Yeah, he's okay. It's not too bad. It'll take a while to kill, but... Five. Yeah, we gotta look at a five. Five. All right. The next five-pointer is the Bog Frog's bigger brother, Poison 2, at range, attacking the three weakest. So Almost. he's gonna hit all three of us with Poison 2 when he goes, and he goes at four on initiative and six health. And rolls no die. And rolls no attack or defense. So he'll just be poisoning to us until we can get him off the board. What do you like? I don't like him, obviously, but... Uh, so you want him on the bottom? We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to take two fives next time. Do you want this to be one of them, though? You've seen... What's so the other one? What's the, what's the first, first one? Uh, the little melee guy who does lashback with six health, four attack dice. Six health, six health. They're both fours. Mm -hmm. They basically go back to back. Oh, man. How many... We do have a healer that can help heal us up a bit, so poison... But this guy may stick around for multiple turns throwing poison two on us. I think we should just deal with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll go with that. Well, you could have just told me. Well, no, no we want you to make a choice. You, you've seen, you've seen, I've seen a few now. Yeah, yeah, you've seen a few five. So, and eventually we're gonna get back to the ones. If we keep putting them on the bottom, we're gonna push up the first guys we saw, which is some of them we put on the bottom because we're wanting to deal with them later. Yeah. So that's kind of fine, right? And I need more health and more yeah. attack and more defense. And okay. Yeah. So that is the recovery phase. We're on to day five. Didn't get any points from that. That's fine. We're, we're, at, we're at four out of six. So. Three fives. Yep. Why can't we all just get along? Does that mean we can't? Does that mean we can't be friends? I joke, as an arrow narrowly misses my left ear. The scrawny intruder just laughs as though he has no reason to be afraid of us. Judging by the wall of enemies that are rapidly amassing behind him, he may be right. It's going to take a lot of brute force to get through this blockade. So combat or combat, no additional bonuses for each of the combats, but two training points and a loot for each and a progress if we win. First one, frontline charge. Battle cues, batty points, which is five times three, 15. 15. Three, 15. Party must eliminate all melee baddies before targeting range baddies. So that bog guy we just put up there, we couldn't fight him until we get all the melee guys off the board first. Okay. So that's poison two for longer than we want. The second option, let's keep our distance and wait for them to break. Battle cues, baddie points, again, 15 points. Uh, but on round one and two, melee gear locks can only roll defense dice. So I can roll all I want. You only get to roll defense dice, which... <laughs> That's fine. But no skill and no attack. Okay. Um, and you rolling defense is still two, but that could be bad. That means you're not hurting the guys. You're just sitting two there like rounds. building up taking... bones and defense dice. You're just taking the beating. And melee range hybrid gear locks are treated as melee gear locks for this battle. So that is what we have to deal with if we wait. No, for round one and two, no attack or skill dice. But on the other one, we just have to kill melee, and we don't know what the rest of the batty queue is. There's only one more. Oh, There's actually, only we do. One more. Oh, it's just three oh, fivers, right? Oh, you get right? to yeah, scout, yeah. right? You, so you get to yes, scout before, before the battle. Yes, before a battle. Uh, I think that's before we set it up. I'm. Can I do it now though? Before we choose, that is the question. Before battle, I know it's a battle. It's before the battle, before setting it up. But I, I don't know if you have to make the choice you guys first. You have to choose first. Yeah, let's say you have to choose first. Again, leave it in the comments below. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm probably going with the first one. Yeah, the first one's fine. I think the first one's okay. The second one where, like, it's fine if I get defensive dice and some bones, but I can only get three. Yeah. It's a little, a little risky. Okay, so we'll go with the first one. Yeah. Uh, so the battle queue is baddie points. So before the battle, I'm going to do the scouting thing, mm -hmm. uh, which is my innate ability. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have you to don't roll have to that. roll, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just always think I do. Um, so I will look at the fiver. The, the next five. The third one, yeah. Yeah, because then you can decide. Dragon. It's poison two, rage two, uh, six health. It is another bog enemy, so of course he's poisoned, but no, rolling no attack or defense right now, unless rage two, if he is not at full HP, he will roll two attack dice. That's what rage two means. So if we take him down below six in any way, he will start attacking on top of poison two from range on the two weakest so enemies. So he poisons two regardless? Yes, yeah. on the two weakest enemies from anywhere on the board. He's ranged. So, and range, we can't. Because we picked the first option, we have to take a lashback pop before we can fight either two of these guys. I don't like it. For this scenario, I will put him on the bottom. Oh, boy. Otherwise, yeah. He's one of the worst. I hate that guy. Um, okay, so battle cue is we'll take the next fiver. He's going to go there. So uh, lane one, we have lashback pups. Or Lashback Direwolf 2, uh, 6 health. And he is going to initiative 4. 
Then next we have the ranged bog alert. Poison two going up there. Six health. Uh, and then we got oh we got another one of those guys we had before. It's the Griffin Howler with the die flight signal one. Not the worst. Not the worst. But it's not range. He's melee. Yes, he's melee. So that means we can't get this guy until we take these two guys out. And he's going at what? Uh, five. Initiative five. He's melee. So he's going first. Okay, now we decide where we go. You do your uh, shield wall somewhere in there. Uh, three. Oh, man, that's bad. So throw those all up in your active slot. So they're two, two, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Because of your raider armor. Yeah. Four. Okay. That's good. But wait, does, does that mean I get, don't get to roll any? Oh, I don't get to roll any more defense dice. No. Nope. But enemies but, will find out where you go on initiative order yeah, right now. You may you may your... be using those up before you get to your turn. Three. And likely, three. So you can go so before, you can go or before me or after me. Your choice. I should go before you, because right, okay. I can take hits instead. Okay. Uh, so next is where are we going? Uh, where we start? Yes. So we have to take out the melee guys before we can even attack Poison Two dude in the back. And this guy is going to attack at first and then fly and bring a new uh, one point baddie in the bottom of the battle queue next round. Does he get to move first too? If he needs to, he'll move up to two spaces. Can I suggest something? Yeah. Because Whatever, you yeah. have so many shields. Are you comfortable going yeah, here? Yeah, that's where I was going to go. And I'll go here and move up on my turn because this, he'll, this attack way he'll attack you. Me. Yeah. Well, this guy will attack you because uh, I'm weaker than you, but you're adjacent. Yeah, but the other guy will attack me too, which is fine. That's like the, seven attack dice. But he's hitting. got six sitting there. I know, so. but I'm just saying this is how crazy. You're worried those shields will still be there on your turn, yeah. <laughs> my friend. That's not how it works. <laughs> All right. I can heal you if things go really bad. Yeah, sure you will. I will. We've, okay. We've done this before. So round one, <laughs> this guy's going and uh, fight. signal. He'll put a one point baddie, which is our cute little latchback pup. So he's another melee guy we'll have to deal with before we can attack that guy, assuming we haven't killed these two guys first, which right. most likely won't happen. So he's in the battle queue uh, for the end of the round to come in. Uh, then he will attack for three. He'll need to move first to move up to its closest enemy, being adjacent, three attack dice. He'll hit for two, two, so lose one of those dice, and then he'll fly up into the air. It's okay. He didn't hurt me. And remember, he'll dive down to the weakest Which on his next turn if he's flying still. Mel, are you? We'll find out. Uh, Mel? Oh, this guy might attack me, actually, if I take any damage here. Well, let's see what happens. Using one dex to move, if I take a lash back. Rolling. And you can't target this guy, but you could damage him with other dice, FYI. Right. So I could throw an axe at the the frog if I wanted to, the bog lurk, but... Killing blow. <laughs> yeah, I don't, that'll do oh, too much because it's I just one I forgot that I was going before him. The slashback pup is going to attack me instead of you. Yeah, that's what, it's the problem is I went last in initiative order. If, if I could go first, then I could hit him without lashback. Maybe. I mean, this we have might, to attack This might have first. been a Let better me... way to go. Yeah? Cause, okay. Because I could maybe hit him first so that he is weak enough that you might be able to kill and blow yeah. him. Okay. With me? Yeah. Okay. Well, because I'm going to attack him now. I'm going to see if I even... If Hopefully you don't it. get lashed back too hard. But Let's you can see. choose not to apply your dice. Yeah, if we'll see what... If they're two twos, I'm going to take it, but... A one and okay, a two, so that's take still good. that. Oh, lash back. Oh, two. Uh, so you hit once. Yeah. So it should yeah, be able to block I'll, one of the I'll hits. Yeah, I'll take that. So you're hitting for, hit three. for three. That's not bad. Yeah. And he does two damage so back to you. block the shield and I'll lose one. Okay. It's not bad. Not horrible. No. Okay. okay. Uh, that's all you want to do on your turn? Yeah. And poison two. Uh, so now no. the blue guy, this guy, oh. he's going to attack for four dice to the weakest, which is Mel. Uh, he's going to hit me for two. Two bones and two attack. One, two. Okay, that's good, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty weak hit. Yeah. So he missed because he bones out there. And he has no bones ability on him, so he won't do any backup plan. That's good. Uh, then this guy's going to go. He'll do the two weakest, which me, is... Me, and I think yeah. you, yeah. So we'll each get a poison... Two die. Can you heal yourself? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, he is done. He doesn't need to move because he's ranged. Then I will go lose two on the start of my turn. Down tick that to one. Uh, and let's roll three attack. Oh, let's roll Wolfie on. So you're going to go next. But if you take him out. If I take the wolf out. You could just go... You could use two decks and move up to the poison guy. True. But we gotta kill the flying guy first. He's well, flying we can't right yet. Can't target him. 
But you could get in position. Remember, he'll go after the weakest guy, so he won't even. But be the there. problem is, then this guy's coming in next. Well, well if we if we kill At this which guy, which spot? He's going in spot number four, or if we kill this guy, he's going in spot one. Oh yeah, so that's. But I'll once go. he comes on the board, we won't be able to. So that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go after the wolf because I won't get lashed back. You need three. And you and got you it. Got oh, five. Wow. I, I can't target anyone else. I would love to change my target to this I guy, know, right? but uh, so I definitely take him off the board. Uh, so that'll go up there. His die will come out. Uh, he will go to the defeated five pile back here. Okay. Uh, then... What about your little wolf? You yep, put it back? that's what I'm going to do next. So these dice are done. Then what did I roll? Oh, I rolled the one that I don't need to use dex on to replace him. So he's actually, this is the best side on this dice. So three health. I could put him any spot diagonal to myself or adjacent. Let's put him... We could make this guy dive to you... Where we make him dive? Maybe I put here? your guy here and yeah. then make him dive there. Yeah, yeah. this way we can all. I hit him. Yeah, I just want him like near where he can. Well, it depends. Are you gonna just sit there for this turn, or are you gonna move up while well, you can hit that poison two guy? Well, you can't hit him yet. Yeah, you'd be no. We well, have to take around the melee. All the melee first. Oh, this guy's melee. I thought that guy was range. Sorry, I thought because he was a bird. No, I, I, I don't know. I've placed him in the wrong spot before thinking that. Yeah, um, I don't know why. Sorry. So he's Never on the mind. board. Three health can damage one. He doesn't go until the next round, so hopefully he survives. He is hardy though, so that should be fine. I think he should survive. Yeah, he will. It's no, yeah. <laughs> just saying. Sometimes he doesn't though. Uh, now, Justin. So what Mel was recommending is, so we know at the end of the round this guy's coming in at number one. He'll mm -hmm. go here in this melee spot. So if you want him now, while well, there's an opening, use two decks to get up here. You can't roll attack dice on him anyway, so that would leave you with two more decks. You could probably just roll this, maybe roll a defense die, and get ready for the next round. Mm -hmm. right, you I can't attack that. this guy. He's flying, so he's not a targetable. No, so I see then you idea. don't have to waste it next time. Two decks there, and then, and then roll two, two more. One defense, and one this yeah. one. Yeah, and try to set that up for you. And I was hoping to get this. Uh, well... Yes, you are actually doing the way I would do it. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Tell us. So I can shield bash this, this guy. Now, is shield bash, does it say you need a tar it on your target, though? Let's see. Where does it say shield bash? Oh, no, well, this on side. the other side, yeah. I think it'll shield bash, remove all defense, including newly rolled act, uh, active slots and lock slots. Uh, do total number of remove defense on damage to target. Yeah. So Can't yeah, uh, yeah, yes. So it specifically says here, party must eliminate all melee baddies before targeting range baddies. So, okay, once this guy comes in. So, but you could lock this there mm -hmm. and uh, uptick up this to, to throw a defense to help survive for the next round. That's maybe what I would do. But it, I said what I was saying is I would have taken two bones for sure if... I could have attacked that guy, but just because of the scenario, you couldn't. But yeah. Okay. Because then this bones is cool. It's reusable. So it actually goes right back there, and you can use it after you pop it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice. Um, all right. All right. So end of the round, this guy's coming in. First so three. Lane one, melee, three health right here, and he goes to the bottom of the queue. Okay. So we're going to round two. How many rounds do you have? Six? Well, it's... Okay. So yeah. We haven't got there yet, <laughs> and never explained it, but when it gets to five, mm -hmm. great. Everything's still good. But once you get to six or longer, it's called the fatigue round. Oh, yeah. We all we take do. a true damage, everyone on the board, at the start of every round. You I can't do, block I it. I do remember this. Yeah, yeah, so it just starts running out on us. So you always want to be at higher health if you can than the enemies at that time. So we're round two. Round two. Okay. Fight. And bird is going to go, uh, yeah. So the dive going to the weakest. Actually, we can choose. Is it my wolf or is it you? We're going to say it's the wolf. Is your wolf not... hardy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's your wolf. <laughs> of course. And he, if he gets KO'd, we're fine. If you get KO'd, you lose lock dice. Not that you have any right now, no. but we want to keep you alive. Thanks. Okay, so three die on your wolf. He's going to get hit for two, but he's hardy, so only one. So loses one. And then he will remove the flight, and signal is only for one round, so oh. that's good. Okay. Kill him now. Uh, now Mel will choose whether she wants to heal or poison. I don't think it matters in this case. She'll yeah. just lose one. Yep. Down tick. The poison. Okay. And now so I can only go after this pup. I think I'm gonna yourself? use this to heal myself for three HP. Why wouldn't you try to do this? You can do that after if this bombs. Yeah, but I, yeah, I guess one, two. I just say that because like, what else yeah. are you using this for on this battle right now, right? No, I just would have rolled two defense. But no, oh. it's fine. That's fine. You can still roll two defense. You don't have to roll so much attack. Well, I want to kill him. Ah, instead of getting lashed back. Yeah. 
So then you guys can actually kill the other guys on, or fight the other guys. Oh, we gotta kill this guy first? Yeah, this guy still has to go first, which is the problem. So you could attack this guy while he's on the ground. Might be the best. He won't lash your back. You're worried about this guy rolling one attack die? Come on, we can keep him on the board for like six rounds. Right, you're, right, you're right, I'll go for this guy. <laughs> this guy can only do one to damage to him, but I can also shoot him too. Yeah. Like we can all try to attack him while he's down, except for yeah. Justin. I'll go for this guy. All right, so I hit him for two. Very right. nice. He's down to three health. One defense, and then I can heal myself for three. So that's Perfect. exhausted. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Well, you're back in the game. I so am. now purple dude goes, and he's looking for the three weakest. So interestingly, he will poison two. Oh, he only poisoned two of us last time. <gasps> oh, I thought it was two. So. Sorry, I thought yeah. it was two as well. So. So we'll take two off of <laughs> Justin there. Sorry. Sorry. So you should have a one poison on you. Yeah. Uh, but now he's gonna poison two the weakest two. Which is Wolverine. His me. Uh, actually, yes, it's me and the Wolverine. And then I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I, I have five. I also have five. Uh, I can take it. I'll do the poison too, because it hits me less. Yeah, so this is why this guy's bad to keep on this. This sucks that we kept him because of this whole range thing, but normally, obviously, we would have prioritized this guy and tried to take him off the board as quick as possible so this didn't get out of control like this. Uh, now you. And now me. So Wolverine will go first? Yes. I will. Poison one. Poison Hold on, is this targeting? Let me read my... Uh, companion may move two positions, does not cost decks, and perform an auto attack of number of damage, also not cost decks, to an adjacent baddie. Oh, no Doesn't target. say targeting. Does not say targeting. So you're going to chip away? Yeah, so I will move up well, here. Well, does he lose one health first? Uh, you are correct, because of Hardy. Yeah. Poison, forgot about that, will die on him. So it's normally would do two damage, but Hardy reduces it down to one. Uh, then he'll do one damage to an adjacent baddie. And... Then you. Then me. No, no, no then me. Then no. you will lose two. So I will lose two. Oh, down boy. Down to two health. Go down to one. Poison. And... Yeah, I give these to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then... Hmm... So I can change my target. I gotta remember that. I can change after I roll based on what goes on. So if I roll like a magic two two two, I might apply it to somebody who has more health. But I think this guy's the most yeah, important while he's to go. Down, yep, while he's down and also attacks for three dice. Yeah. I'm gonna roll three attack. And then Justin can two go defense for the puppy. or one defense. Sorry, four decks. Oh my, rolling sucks. Should have done the wolf on him, but I will. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's do one defense, one bones. So you're going to do the two hits, right, first? Yeah, two hits, and then I will throw my axe to try to take him off the board. Uh, rolling an additional attack die. Yeah. Yes. yes. Got it. So he's not going back in the air. So my take... shield don't, that doesn't stop the poison, right? No. No. Okay. And this guy goes in the five to feed a pile. And... So now I have to attack do this uh, lashback nope. yes. person, right? Yep. But you're rolling two attack die. I am? Yeah, or one, one. One, one attack die. You and could, you could re-roll You could take this that. out and any of these out if you wanted to. Can you take it out of your backup plan? I don't, I don't know. I don't think you can. I gotta oh, take okay. one of these out though. Yeah. Okay. So you roll that. Now you're likely not gonna kill him unless you get a bone. Well, you just know that I'm gonna get a bone. Oh yeah, because you're rolling one defense. So you, but you can't down take it. No, no defense, but one hit. You can take the lash back because you have shields. I do. And then would the, one of these shields change to a one? Yeah. Yes. So you could take to, to apply the defense first if you wanted to. Let's say you had no defense. Yeah. Put that defense in there. Oh. So you could put the defense of your roll first, then attack him so that you had shield there for lash back. Sure. In this case, you already have defense. It doesn't matter what order, but mm -hmm. just saying, like, letting you know the options. Okay, so now down tick one to a one. So now you're taking one lash back. And you have to defense states it first. Cool. All right. And then this guy is going to go after the weakest, which I think we were tied, right? You is are it? tied so at five apiece. In this case, I'll will take you it. take it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you roll Mr. up defense yourself. over there. <laughs> One. All right. So, boom. There you go. All right. So, so that so. is the end of the round. On to round three. Nobody in the battle queue to come in. So starting with Mel, okay, we'll will... lose one health. Poison will go down because of the, her regen will then heal her back up. Yeah. So. Um, so I have to go after this guy. Yeah, this kill pup, him. So I can roll 
two attack and, and your, one your defense. And your last back is covered. Yeah. <laughs> and she can only roll one defense because yep. she has one locked up, right? Yep. Okay, so Yay, I get number two, so dead. no lash back, and then I get a shield. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, that's good. So that means that the rest means of that us. Everyone can go after poison, poison. Poison, poison. Yep, all the melee guys are gone. Yeah. Yep. One guy left. Let's get him. Okay, he's next, so. Yep, so he's going to poison two. Oh, hold, uh, all hold on, all the weakest, which would actually not be you. It'd be. Yeah, so you stay at one, me. two, and two. Oh, right, because I lost one, two, three, four. We yeah. need to kill him before it gets to me. I don't want to die. Wait, wait, wait. You're next. Oh, well, I am? Your, well, your wolf will die. And then you uh, yeah, die. wolf goes first. Uh, so, yeah, wolf dies. And, and then I die. <laughs> oh, sorry. But do you come back? No. Ever? Uh, yeah. Oh. I, yeah, I'll just have to recover in the recovery phase. Oh. But I'm done for this battle unless Mel had a way to revive me or we had a loot or something that revives. Oh, man. That's okay. We got this. It's uh, So, this is you. Now right? it's me? Now it's you. So, I can uh, roll one defense. So, you're going to lose defense. one yeah. from that, and then that's gone. So, I can roll one defense and one attack. Right? Uh, you can roll one defense and one attack. Yes, oh, and to win, only one of us has to be on the mat when all the enemies are dead. Yeah. Oh, look at there that. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, whatever. Well, it's one, enough two, anyway, three, right? four, five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so shield, shield dash. dash? Oh, right. yeah. So this goes this back. Goes yeah, here. don't forget that. That's so important. No all right. Sorry, Rob. I tried to do it It's earlier. all good. I had nothing locked, so me getting knocked out isn't the worst case. I still get rewards, we st like yep. for us winning. It's no big deal. Yay! Uh, but it lose. sucks now. On my recovery phase, we know I'm for sure healing up, or else I can't play in the next battle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So. But we did it. We did it. Okay. So reward phase. Uh, let's do loot first. So one loot each. Oh, something fun. And I got Flare Distraction, single use. Before facing a battle encounter with Batty Q, Batty Points, reduce it by three. Amazing. I got the same gem. Merchants will offer you Trove Loot. Oh. Okay, let's put it there, and in the recovery phase, we can pop it for some Trove Loot. Yep. Red Minotaur, single use. Ignore one bones when making a training attempt. So that'll wow. help you get your attack or your defense quicker than when you fail. Oh, my attack, because my defense always yeah. goes up. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Okay, uh, so then next is two training points. Ooh -hoo. So start looking at your stats. What do you Look think? At what did you not have enough of? What <laughs> we did you know need? you need attack. <laughs> do I? <laughs> Maybe your decks and attack. Maybe another stat die. Do you want to get another die going? The, the shield, shield one. Form. Yeah, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. So we can start looking at our menus here. What do you feel like off the menu? If you're gonna take a skill die. Yeah, the that's shield unique. form probably. I'm gonna have some fun. I'll take a trap just to show Justin. I don't normally like traps. I haven't really tried them too much yet, but I will. Uh, let's do. Yeah, let's do woven snare, which is die number two. So I'll show you how that works when we get there. And what else did you take? Uh, that is the good question. I don't. Oh, know. sorry. Uh, I just knew I wanted to get a trap going. I will. Piercing arrow. There haven't been really any guys with defense or thick skin to worry about piercing arrow. Return fire. Have there been many ranged enemies that could hit me? Well, so far they've all been just, like, just poisons. Poison. And just throwing poison. But when they target me, I do get to shoot them back with that. Uh, rusted spikes. Multi-arrow, I could um, basically split my attack, sort of, uh, or attack, yeah, I'll take multi-arrow, show you how that works. So uh, when I roll, uh, I could get the one on it, a bones, of course, or a two, and how that works is I can then, uh, let's say I roll three attack dice, I could apply that to my target, and then two of these dice I can apply to another Oh, you got blow, okay. Yeah, so I'll take that one. Okay. But I gotta roll it, and then I put it in my active. S oh no, it's on that same roll. Yeah, it's just a one-time thing. But then it goes back. Then it gets exhausted because it doesn't have the little reusable symbol on it like your um, infinite, yeah. like that does, right? Oh. There is guys that we have that have like a long blade sword that it's like an attack die. They keep putting it back every time, so it's kind of it has no bones on it. It's kind of nice. It's a, a nugget cure lock, but yeah, it's rare to have that. Okay, so I'm going to take fast hands, which just lets me multiply my heal. 
So I'll take that. And then I'm going to take toxins, which allows me to put poison on my target and then has a few spaces that have double bones. Oh, double bones. Double bones. So when you have double bones, you just skip the first spot and put it sure. right like that. All right. Shield form it is. Mm -hmm. That's so a great trying one. To get re and I'm going to try and heal, or go up defense. on the attack. Okay. It's good. Yeah. yeah. So you could have, if you're worried about attack, let's say you didn't have that awesome thing. Yeah. You could try the attack on the first point, and yeah. if you missed, then take a skill die with that training point, and then try again on that. That's probably the best way to do it. Oh. Don't just go take the skill right away, because like you, if you really wanted that attack really bad, right? Okay. Yeah. You can do it in that oh, order. Oh, but I need to heal the two. Oh. Okay. So, right, so, so now recovery. Uh, actually, one more progress oh, point. Sorry. So we need one more to then fight this dude. Okay. Now recovery. Oh, well, sorry. I'm going to trade get a troll loot going. A one, two, five trove loot. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, do you all want to start a lockpicking attempt on it for fun right now? Wait, wait. Do mm -hmm. you have to recover? Or no, does that have after? We can do that now. We can do that after. You do whatever order you want. All right. So I'll try a lockpicking attempt, and I'm looking for one, one. lever. Yeah, one, uh, two. I will just re-roll my first attempt because I didn't get anything there I want. Oh, uh, one lever. Okay, the lever die is this one though. But this lets you switch it, no? Yeah, so I will actually switch this up and make this uh, the one lever needed to unlock the first lock. Okay. Then I'll re-roll these two looking for two trip. Uh, there is the two trip. I could actually re-roll to attempt, but since we're all going... I'll just apply this to unlock the second lock. So now we'll let Mel, Mel. go. Yay, Mel. And she's going to try for five, five force. force. Uh, two force, and I could re-roll, but that's Or you can day. tank the whole thing and yeah. re-roll because it's I your will. first attempt I on the lock. Uh, I could have, no. No, you didn't nope. even get any force. So Justin, you go. Take the whole thing and roll it up. Oh, you couldn't do anything after? No? No. No, it's the last lock. All uh, right, so... You Nothing. didn't get any force. That's usually you could re-roll your whole first attempt there. Come on, force. Oh, uh, three, three force. force. Oh, and then this you can add plus four one, force. five force. There you go. So Yay. you got it. So we unlocked it there. First so excited. Recovery. All right, let's What'd you get? get? Pick it up. So we got a minor patch kit, backup plane extension, heal one gear lock for one HP. This is perfect. So backup plane extension means it sits here, taking up a loot spot, but it's a new option she has with bones. She doesn't have a single one. So oh. she could just spend one bone and do this to heal a gear lock for one HP, which is amazing which with her. Because I have to normally spend two to do it. So now she's like cheating to do that. So this tro troll loot is awesome. It's always awesome. But anyways, <laughs> if I got that, I might have passed it off. Or if you got it, you yeah. might have kept, kept it because you'd have a, now a one point uh, to heal something yeah, yeah. To heal. yeah. okay uh okay so that's the troll loot uh i'm gonna recover as my individual choice uh, are you gonna recover two mil yeah so i'm yeah. going up to six me too well i'm going up to six seven two, one, two three, four. okay so we're moving on to day six seven all right sticks and stones i awake with a start Searching for my weapon, I realize it's been taken during my slumber. Looking around, uh, at, uh, looking around our makeshift camp, it's clear the rest of our of our number have suffered the same fevery. A nearby sound of twig snapping rouses to our nakedness and sets us all scrambling for sticks and stones with with which to fight. So battle or battle, no different reward either way. But we get two training points and each get a loot and a progress if we win. First one, sticks and stones will break your bones. Battle cues, batty points. Your party cannot use skill dice in battle, so you can't roll these. You we can't roll these. Got. I can't roll any of these, which sucks, if we choose the first one. Uh, however, any bones rolled counts as two bones on your backup plan. So we can't use these, but then we get to do some cool stuff here. Hmm. Okay, so you'll get your, you get higher stuff going. Maybe we'll get our innate if we choose this one. Okay. Does that stay yeah. once you hit it? Yeah. Once you hit innate, you flip this over, and it's like that for the rest of the adventure. You never lose it. Yeah. Gear lock wall. So my an eight plus one is I get to scout two baddies every turn or every battle. Man. My an eight plus one is instantly and permanently increase health stat die by one, once per adventure, and then at the start of Patch's turn, heal any gear lock for one. Man, I don't even know where that says on Mark. Uh, right here. Oh, gear lock wall. In addition to his shield wall benefits, Picky may also put rolled defense dice, oh, into his lock Locked section. Yeah, so you That's still get to roll at the beginning and then you get to fill this whole thing with Lock so if, if they're over here, I still get them? Mm. So no, listen. If they're in your lock slot, yeah. they don't count against this stat. 
Only, <laughs> but you can't put them in the loft until you've filled up your active. So until you roll more defense is kind of pointless, but it's something you could get going. And they stay in your loft for the next battle. Mm -hmm. So if you have some there that you have not used and we move to the next battle, they're already there to start. Yeah. No matter what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. Do I can I use these ones first before these ones? No, your choice. You oh, cool. Uh, all right. So the second option, split up, find the thieves. Battle cues, baddie points again, which will be six times three, eighteen. 18. Mm -hmm. uh, your party cannot use skill dice in battle until the first baddie, the first baddie to occupy lane one is defeated. Oh, okay. So we just have to kill Betty oh, and first. We got three fives and three three, three ones. Oh. So it's gonna be a fiver. Thanks, <laughs> Lap. <laughs> but we can prioritize that guy, so then we can start yeah. rolling these skill dice. Do you want Instead to do that? of never being able to. Yeah, I like the second one. Because you think so? Yeah. And unless we're trying to get our eight plus ones, that makes super sense to like try to get as many bones as possible. I'm but you know, the second either. one is the harder one, right? Why? Uh, no. No, you don't think so? No, because not using the skill dice we've just wasted training points on is kind of harsh. Yeah, but which for me would be I, a heal. I have ways, if I can get bones up uh, to five, I can deal, I think it's, so look at your backup plans. So I could split targets, choose a new target after rolling dice, which doesn't matter because of this. I could, or sorry, switch targets. Split targets, select a new target after applying at least one die to my first target. Fortunate discovery, I can acquire a, a consumable. A lure away, I can remove a five point battery or less from the battle map, place it on the bottom of the battle queue, or deal five damage to Gilly's target, which is crazy. But, anyways, I say we do the second. Sure. Vote? Yeah, that's I mean, fine. Sure. I'm fine second? with that. Okay. But all those, all those things look so nice. <laughs> you can still get them, but it's like obviously easier if you roll more bones. But, uh, all right. Split up and find the thieves. So, the battle queue is battery points. Uh, actually, I'm going to scout first as my mm -hmm. ability. I will look at a fiver. I mean, we're probably already. So it's Hardy Compound, X Guy, 5 health. Uh, he's melee, attacking 2, weakest. And he's going to go in spot number 1. <laughs> or if I put him in the back, he's not. Yeah. Is I'll he hard to kill? Well, Hardy well, only Hardy's that damage reducing it down to 1 no matter how much damage on Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Bleep so that out. He'll go to the back. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dragon's coming. I, guess. I know, right? <laughs> It's coming back. So that is that. That's my ability. Um, so before building the battle queue, I'm going to put this trap right here on the number one spot. Nice. Does nice. It so, it so what target? happens is I roll it when he comes. Yeah. And whatever I get, this would actually reduce his attack dice stat by two. So wow. if it's someone who attacks for two dice, they're rolling no attack dice for the rest of the battle. Okay. Well, let's okay. We're praying. It could be one, could be a two, or it could be red bones. And if these red bones hit, they automatically... I don't have the choice. This goes right into here. That's what red bones do. They go right there. So okay. we're we're really praying this is a melee baddie coming in. Yeah, that's that's or or it's somebody we a uh, guy who moves on the oh, space. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. a risk. I scouted. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Could I put it in the range? No, Should I? No, no. No, they'll move. Why not? Because we have less option of it going there. Why? I don't know. You don't know what's next. It's not it's, ranged. How, but where we've been putting on the bottom, lots of ranged. No, or no. melee. 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 The corrosive break was melee, I think. But that was like the second one we saw. The dragon. I saw something first, wolf. and I can't remember what it was. The Ooh. poison. If it's a dragon, it's ranged. I'm pretty sure. The break guy is melee. The poison and break guy. Corrosive mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. melee. Mm -hmm. I just put a ranged guy, I think. No, melee guy melee to the back. Guy. I think melee is better. All right. I think it's going to be ranged. Just no, throwing that out there. But I'll put it where you want. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with whatever you I could be wrong. I, I don't know. That's just where I'm betting. Okay, so now we're ready to do our queue. Yeah. Wait, how do we, if, if he is not ranged, how do we get... Oh, we just got to get someone in. Someone just has to move there, but there, it also yeah. would hit us if we move there. So don't move there, or that could hurt you. Yeah, I won't. Okay. But that could protect, like, a ranged guy here for, from Samanus to go there. All right. So 18. So three fives. And three, so we know there's a bog frog, we know there's a clay golem, and we don't know the last one. And oh, here they is go? the queue. So starting with the first one, yeah. uh, it is a melee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I missed, but it's owl bear. Nice. He has inspire one, so he'll make after he goes, he makes the next guy go right away and use one extra attack dice. Terrify. If you hit him, you get a terrify die put on you. And you're not allowed to uh, for your next turn to attack any enemy with a terrify keyword. So just, you're, you're scared. Hopefully, just him. That's too bad too because he's rolling two die, so imagine or four die. Imagine you're able to knock that down. Yeah. That would have been juicy. Okay. 
Next. So, uh, as a risk. Yep. That's so next okay. is the Hardy Kobold Fanatic. Uh, who's melee? Going in lane to. Oh, he looks strong. Yeah, roll at. three attack dice. He uh, right. has. What is that? Inspire also? Yep. Yep. It's gonna be bad. Ooh, very bad. bad. So bad they all news. attack. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the Dragon Delinquent going in the range spot uh, back here. Seven health. Going at uh, six. six. Yeah, this is our first like real battle. Here we go. And then a little bog frog. Uh, uh, I just need two. Two health. Yay, little frog. Four going in the melee spot. Poison two, though. And we got these two guys sitting in here for when we defeat somebody. We got some ones coming in. Oh, I forgot about that. Before facing a battle encounter with the BQ value points, I can reduce it by three. Okay. Oh, well. Oops. Gotta use that on a future one. Okay, Rob. Roll your dice. Oh, yeah. Sorry. See where we're going? Six. Six. Yes. Nice. Whoa. Three. three. No, I didn't Mom, land inside. Now, but do you, you want to go, go before here or, or after here or in the there. middle? Anywhere in there you can go. Does it matter? I don't know. Yeah, I'll go before. We can that. switch it once you place if you feel like. All right. Now, where are we starting? I think I am going to. So we have, we to, have kill to kill this? this guy before we can use skill die, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, do you think you can kill this little one? You can try. Or maybe I can kill the little one? I only have two attack dice, so. Yeah, so do I. Um, but you have more shield. Oh, roll your shield wall. Let's see what's happening here for you. So three shields still? Yep. I okay. Two, I could technically go two, one, one. Yeah. So I would say. Who's the one who hits the hardest? This one. The four. And we need to kill him before we can use but skill die. But remember, this guy inspires, so he will make the next baddie jump up in the queue and go with one extra attack die so he'll be rolling four then when this guy goes he will inspire the next guy who's this green guy to jump up right after him and he'll attack with actually one attack die and poison two assuming he can reach somebody that's the other thing they can only move up to two spaces so remember this guy goes first so let's say somebody was here and somebody was here like there's ways they could move and then the other guy can't get around and stuff like how, that. How much health are you guys all at? Seven. Six. 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 Or seven. Because mm. this guy's going to go after the weakest if right now it's going to be me or you. So maybe we choose me and I go like this or something or because he'll hit the other guy with his weakest. With his yeah, the engulf's huge. Yeah. So. This way I'm going to stop but the Who's poison. the weakest right now? Is it me? Me or you. We're both seven. I mean six. Okay. So we'll just choose me. Okay. So I'm doing this so that this poison guy can't move. Okay, you're okay to take two poison? Sure. Okay. Would you rather take these bigger hits? Well, I can also, like, the engulf, does that get through my shield? No, my shield can be used on yes, it, right? Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. So, so we should we switch. switch. Yeah, because yeah, you can I handle like the poison. Yeah. Well, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. No, but then but aren't we trying to get off. this guy off the board, though? Yeah, we are. So wouldn't you want the engulf to be hitting this yes. guy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> And hopefully I just survive long enough. And I'm not going behind you guys because when I get engulfed, I would don't want to hit adjacent. So diagonal is not adjacent. So yeah. I will just take it to myself. Okay. So then you are going to go first. The only problem is if I get my little Wolverine out, he will get hit by that. Do him next but time. He's, but he also goes down to one. It's fine. Only one hit, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Four decks. Can roll three attack. No. Don't put your Wolverine out. I know. Because then he's the weakest. Yeah, you're right. And that would just hit both of us. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But uh, I will roll defense instead. Or do I want to do some extra targeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's not roll defense. But to attack. You shouldn't he get... Doesn't, yeah, you don't need the defense because yeah. we should well, be the... Well, I always of... need the defense. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I only the... have six health. But... Uh, oh, my target. Although I could choose it after. Yeah, I'll just roll my dice. <laughs> you don't have to choose before, and then you can change it? No, On your turn, you may choose a target after rolling. Oh, okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so only two. Man, my rolls today. Uh, okay, so... But you could split it, or like you could... Well, I could do two two on one guy, and then two do two on, on another guy. But can't you do two and then two? No? Yep. Like two and two? No, it has to be a different target. Oh. Uh, so I'll do two on this guy. Mm -hmm. But we can't attack anybody else until he's gone. No, we can attack anybody. We just can't use these die until he's gone. Oh. oh. 
So I can't roll this. Yeah. That's oh. what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I roll the defense. Sorry. Why don't you guys stop me? Uh, Sorry, I didn't so even this, realize. And Two this, bones. Yeah, yeah. And that is... That's it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now this guy's going to go and engulf. So he's going to roll on me. Oh, then this can't be used either, right? Because uh, this, that this oh, would yeah, have, yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. the trap didn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, guys, totally missed, yeah. Okay, so I'm the weakest versus, we'll say I'm weakest over you. Okay, so he's going to hit me for two. Uh, I have no shields. So two. And then he rolls his, yeah, thank you. Two and then he adjacent. rolls his backup plan, so I am weakened by two. Yep. What? So I have two less decks. Two less decks on the next fine. turn. Uh, okay. And now we didn't get rid of him in time. What's so this thing golf? This guy oh, might, I'm terrified, right? Because I attacked him. Yeah, this guy might totally wipe me out here with board attack die. Mm, yeah, four hits. Yeah, dead. Sorry, friends. No way to bring you back, eh? Nope. It's our first big battle here. You're on your own. We're in trouble. All right. Uh, and then he insp uh, inspires this guy to go next. So, so he'll jump, he'll just jump in. over there. He'll roll four die. He'll move here first. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, because you're the closest gear lock to him. He'll hit you for four. Which takes away all your defense dice. Okay. And, and then, then he will inspire. Uh, he's going to inspire the bog frog to jump over and put a poison two on you and roll one attack die against you. One. So I'll you will lose one. one health. Wow, you guys suck. And then the start of your turn, you're going to lose two Super. health. Wow, there you go. Because of poison and tick down to one poison. So get rid of that bog frog or else he'll reset Can't roll those. Oh, yeah. You have to kill this guy in order to do it. But you can still attack And I'm not guys. even allowed to attack that guy until... You can still just do basic attacks on these guys. Yeah, yeah. You just can't use the skill die yet. Yeah, we're, we're in trouble here. This is really rough. Are you not rolling any attack? You have four decks. Who are you? Who do you want to hit? Oh, I have to choose first, right? Yep. Uh, we'll go for uh, one, two, three, four, five, four. Four. Four health. He seems the most likely. Yeah. Okay. Who are we going to say the bug Yeah. All right. So two hits on him. Two, three, four. Okay. Uh, so that's you done. No baddies gone. So we're going up to round two. Start of my turn. I can't attack a terrified guy because I'm terrified. But we'll take that die off. And um, so you can just defense or can you attack? No, we have to. You can attack someone else. Yeah. So three attack. I'll can you do. kill the poison one, and then we can use our other dice? Uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, nope, oh yeah, I can't go for this guy. You still wouldn't be able to use your other die. You have to kill this guy. I have to kill the guy that came oh. in at lane one. But he can't attack that guy. So let me go for... Yeah, let's try the bog frog. Try to get him off the board. Or, wait, how much does this engulf for? No, he doesn't engulf. This guy does. Yeah. Oh yeah, he'll go next. Yeah. And he then... rolls just two attack dice. So whatever he hits will hit everybody. Like so you're thinking maybe I should soften this guy up? Yeah, and then and that guy and hopefully he'll, and he'll attack me. I just get worried because this guy will go before you get the whole inspire thing again, attack you for one, and reset this to poison two, which you'll then take poison again on your turn. And I don't have a way of healing you. Do you have a way of healing yourself? That's only three, right? Yeah, I have this. But I can't no, use you can't it. Roll can't use it yet. But um, all right, let's take a chance. Let's do it. This guy's hardy though, so no matter how much I yeah, roll against him, it's only losing only one. Losing one. And that, you, that affects him too. Did you say you get to roll and then decide? Yes, true. So let's just see what happens here. All right, three. so we got three. So and I could take out the bog frog or weaken the engulf guy by three. Uh, let's do. You know what? I mean, taking out a guy, Hold but then on. this guy's coming in. That's fine. So what does the lure away is remove any five point baddie or less baddie from the battle mat, place it on the bottom of the battle queue. Yeah, that sounds good. Hmm. Do you want it to be the engulf guy? No, it's gonna be this guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, insane? so or, or... I will apply my three attack. This guy have no defense on his roll. 
<laughs> no, get world bones. So do I do three off the dragon, or do I just get the frog off the board? I think the frog off mm -hmm. the board. Mm -hmm. Does he get rid of my poison? No. Mm -hmm. Damn. I wish. But it won't come back now. Well, yeah. It's not that I know of. Uh, all right. So that come things. off. This bog frog is defeated. He's a one pointer. Okay. Uh, Does this guy so now come on? Not yet. End of the round. Oh, okay. Okay. I was hoping to give so him some. So that damage. is that. Now I will pop four bones to do my lure away. I will remove a five point baddie from the battle mat and put him on the bottom of the queue. And that gets him out of here for now so you don't have to take three attack dice on your turn. Yes. Nope. Nope. We'll move the color dice around there. Yeah. Color blind. Just <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> just oh, that's one. Yeah, yeah it's not yeah. the number that matches up. Yeah, it's the color. Oh, jeez. There is a little number on there, though, for color blind. But, um... So that was you? Yeah. So this guy's going to go and roll all on Justin. Roll with on nobody me. nobody to hit beside you, but I guess that's okay. So he's going to hit you for three, uh, and then just... he's going to shield up. Okay. Then so this... it should have left the frog there is what you're saying? I should have hit him? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> then this guy is going to go after the weakest, which is Justin. So one, two. Is that okay? We want him here? I think Where he was he? Here? Yeah. And we're tied? No, oh, no, he is the weakest. Yeah. yeah, he has to go. Does it matter? Well, it just wait, might wait. block the four melee if it's a melee guy. Yeah, sure. Okay. But the next one coming in is a two. Oh, and then four. Yeah, yeah. there's two guys. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Oh, yeah. But it might be in his way to get to the range guy. All That's right. okay. Don't okay, roll so any hits, okay? Four dot. Yeah, okay. So four. So you block one. You'll take three. Still alive. Uh, nope. You're going to die on your turn. Okay. What do you mean? It's a star. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, and now you and you will die. Boom. Poison. Back to your mats. Guys. This is terrible. Good luck, buddy. Good yeah, luck. I know, I know. It's your range. It doesn't matter. They just come to him. Bad dragon. I'm not defensive. Bad dragon. Okay, so the end of the round, this guy is going to come in on lane two melee. From the bottom of the queue. Bottom of the queue. Then. <laughs> I can't use my skill dice yet either. This guy's still here. Three and golf. One, two, three. Is he ranged? Four. He is ranged. So it doesn't even matter. He would have went there anyways. Golf okay. and golf. Okay, this is neat. Three. All right. But they're engulfing you. That's fine. Okay. He's All just right. going to get so closer. Dex of four. Yes, you're correct. Uh, one, two, three, four. Could then have it hit this guy. Who inspires these next two, which is bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have no defense. Does it matter? Well, if the guy dies, then no. No, let's say um, say we're going to lose this one. I'm thinking afterwards. These guys, if they don't die, they just go back into the yeah. queues? On the bottom of the their bottom. active queues. Oh, okay. Okay, so I will go here. Yeah, hoping to take out the blue guy. Okay, uh, that is all my stuff. All right, for, yeah. Then this guy will go, only roll two attack. Please get two hits. Yes, yep. thank you. Uh, so one, two, and engulf. You did it, buddy. Proud well, of you. For now. Uh, sucks taking two hits, so going down to four health with no defense on me. And about to get smacked. Uh, then purple guy. Uh, we'll move here. Roll one. One. So we'll go down to three. Green guy will engulf. Yeah. For two. So I'm down to one health. And two on him. And that die gets exhausted. Oh, right. Because break applies to attack dice that reduce health. So he will break his die. So this guy no longer rolls dice. Okay. Then... That's why I was I was choosing whether to go beside this guy because I could have done it to his two dice also. Oh, I see. And okay. but then it would have left this guy rolling three. End of the round. This guy's coming in. Yeah, and this is why Mainly. I can't do that guy too. That's the problem. I can't survive with no way of healing. Four. You are first. Wait, do you use your dice now? Your special dice? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can use whatever you want. Oh, have. true, but maybe you can put your wolf in there and he can take some. But I won't be alive next round for him to go. So, uh huh. Yeah, I should have took that from you. Or one of us should have. Mm -hmm. But we did not. Three Ooh. attack. Uh, OK. 
can I do this and get the wolf? Okay, if I do. Uh, I cannot use the blind battle until the first battle. Okay. So if you move one and put your wolf here, no. then the wolf will get a, it. Oh, but you can't move again after, can you? No. Well, your wolf will be stronger than you. The only thing I'm trying to think oh, is I drop see. my wolf in a place where I don't get hit. So if I drop him diagonally, mm -hmm. he then would be the weakest guy. This guy's attacking, so his engulf would hit adjacent. Is he the weakest though? So I'm gonna, yeah. Oh, maybe not. No, he wouldn't. Yeah. Be. No, he wouldn't be the weakest. I have no way to heal. No way to heal. I have no heal in my backup plan. Nothing. This is a lost cause, but I'll just do the same. All right, so best wolf rule again. Awesome, I mean, when it doesn't matter. Uh, so this guy I'll put here. He'll go there. Three health, one attack. Uh, and these, what was that? A three. Three, three attack. And one bones. Uh, so my target. Can you, the, oh. can you go after this guy? Well, uh, this guy should be exhausted. Yeah, because the break. I don't want to do that. Well, so, so let's just do it on this guy. He's going to oh, hardy. Let's do it on this guy. Okay, uh, next is this guy rolling two attack dice against this. He's no, going against stronger me. stronger or weakest? No, it's the weakest. I keep forgetting. Yep. Uh, Boom. Dead. And I'm dead. And this guy gets hit for three, but exhausts, breaks all his dice, which would have been awesome if I could have survived. Uh, okay. So I go back KO. Oh, the wolf's still fighting for us? No. No, because at the start of his turn, uh, he's no longer alive. He could have taken Maybe everybody out. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be great. Well, he's only hitting for one, so he's not going to take everybody out. He'll but he only gets hit for one. For, but each hit. No, because to win, even you have to have a gear lock on the mat to win, yeah. right? Specific yeah. on that. So this guy can't do it for us. That's okay. So we lost another one. No, that was the first one we lost. No, we lost another one where we didn't get the progress on it. The stupid rat fighting. Oh. Him. So that's a loss. The... We don't get our training points. We don't get our loot oh. or progress. I need so that. We still can't fight the boss, man. It's okay, we're close. I think those are the guys that These are going go on the somewhere. bottom of their respective stacks. Yeah. So let's throw this guy. Pulling here. a 20 and a 1. Alright. So. Let's. And that didn't get shuffled back in or anything silly. Nope. Alright, so recovery phase. Here, oh. Oh, okay, thank you. So recover back up. Should be 7. Okay. And that's it in the recovery phase. Yep. Day seven. All right. Objects may appear farther. Is he looking back at me? I worry. Looking at an enemy scout 21 arrow lengths away through my trusty spectral glass. Uh-oh. I guess he is, given that he's getting ready to blow his bugle. Attempt to snipe. Battle cues, batty points. Select a gear lock. That gear lock must choose any number of their attack dice to attempt to take out the scout. On two plus damage, subtract two batty points. On zero to one roll, a bugle sounds. Must select the other choice. And then in the first choice, attack dice used in this attempt must be subtracted from the gear lock's total attack stat for the whole battle. So you try to take out the scout ahead of time. You reduce this, the points of the batty points, but you'll be less attack dice that you attempted it for. And if you bomb on a zero or one damage, uh, you will make us go to let him go. The bugle sounds, and soon other shrill notes are heard in reply. Battle cues, batty points, which is 7 times 3, 21. And at the start of round 2 to 5, add a 1 point batty to the bottom of the battle cue. There's an advantage to trying the first one, is trying to get a loot each. Or if we don't, this is obviously probably the safer option. You get nothing for it, and you're looking for 2 training points, and a loot, and a progress for it. Yeah, see now the problem is we're subtracting our attack die. We don't have a lot of attack time between all of yes. us. Yes. So what I can do here before facing a battle encounter with battle cube batty points, I can reduce it by three, but we're at 21. So we get a 20 point batty, but I can stop us from getting a 20 point and, and get us down. So we're taking fives instead. We clearly couldn't do fives either. No, but it's only <laughs> one 20 point and one one. Yeah, but we're yeah, also so restricted on destroying yeah, a stupid yeah, yeah. guy where we can't use our skill dice. Yeah. So. Yeah, but like you're saying, a 20 and just a 1. one. Just, there's only two guys instead of yeah, 7. Yeah, between all of us teaming up, we might be able to. We don't I'm going to use it to reduce it by 3. Okay. Down to 18. Whatever way we go. So uh, do we want to just go the second option? 
And at the start of round two to five, we had a one point to the bottom of the queue. We are not at the start of round two to five, are we? Oh, round no, no. two to five of this. Round two to five in the combat. So at the start of the second round, we put another one point batting in the queue. Start like of third round, fourth stuff. round, fifth round, just more baddies keep getting lined up. It's bad. We have six baddies. Well, we could bad. try the top one. But either way, we're losing our die. So what do you mean losing it? On two plus damage, so you're, rolling, you're picking an amount of dice to roll. So one gear lock. Mm -hmm. So if it were me, I have three attacks. I could choose to say roll two of them. Looking for two plus damage. Okay? On that roll, if we get two or higher, we subtract two baddie points from this and we don't have to deal with that adding baddie points to the battle queue and we're successful. We'll automatically get a loot if we win. If we fail at this by only rolling zero to one damage, so if I got a bones and a one, uh, we would fail, and then we have to select the second choice where those baddies are coming in, and attack dice in this attempt must be subtracted from the Gearlock's total attack stat for the battle. So either these two, way. These, yeah, either way, these two dice I use puts me down to one attack for the whole battle. I think we go second one. But it could be you using your two attack if you don't care, it could be you using your two attack. I think we should not do it. Not risk it? No. Yeah, you need your attack Because then we're going to lose, we're going to go into the other battle, yeah. and then we're going to... So, we're going to go here, yeah. battle queues, baddie points. Uh, I'm going to do my scout. On, the, look at on the, the 20? Oh, no, we're no, not using this one. I reduced it. it down to 18, 18 right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is a break corrosive guy here. Three dice. That's a big, bad dude. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah, he is terrible. I'm going to keep him. Put him on the top. And then uh, I will That's pop a... this here. Oh, because oh, he knows where he's going to go. Oh, okay. And but you have to roll it, right, once he comes? When he comes. So it may miss and do nothing to him. It's a kind of a risk. Uh, so now we're going to build the queue. Three and three again, the same one we just had, right? Yeah. Except now we bring in. Okay, so this guy's coming in. Spot number one, seven health. Right here. You already got it right for you. Nope, thank you. He'll go here. Now, because he's there, we're going to pop the trap on him. Two. Oh, so now he's two nice. less attack dice. He's running around with for the rest of the battle. So one. Only one attack, two defense. Okay. It's corrosive. Next fiver is the poison two, rage two, manticore, six health. I just need one more health there. Awesome. And, and he's going at range three. And three. So he'll go after that three. Okay. Next is the hardy compound, kobold elite, melee, five health. Three initiative. Another corrosive? Uh, compound, not I'm corrosive. Sorry, said... Compound is, means his attack dice are X. X is equal to the round we're on. So, first round, he's only hitting for one. Second yeah, round, for two. Get rid of him, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but he's hardy. hardy. So, every turn, he only takes one damage. Shield bash? Uh, still, still all reduces one. down to one. Yeah. We have talked about this Poison? Before. Still all the same? No. Poison gets reduced down to one, but it could be on his turn, so yeah. he could take an extra damage. So, we need your toxins on that guy. Lesson, and this guy's got Harding Compound too, but he's only two health. But he is ranged, so he will be hiding up here. And we need to get him off the board or else he gets pretty dirty too. Okay, so now we are start a battle. I don't know if that's now. You can roll yeah, your, yeah. your shield wall. All right. Two, two, two. Stick him with you your Raider armor. To two, two, two. Uh, I go that's with good. five. I go at three, so I'll go with five. Now you and your threes, eh? Well, I have, I think, all threes except for four. Get that four. Trying. Let's go five. No, nope, my three as yes. well. Oh, all three, but it's two fours. Uh, does it matter? They're all going to go before me anyway. No, no, you don't want them to go before you. Get a hit in there before someone goes. Okay. All right, fight. Be brave. Uh, okay, so we're set up. Uh, let's put ourselves on the mat. I'm going to go to here. Wow, I don't even know who. I gotta start breaking down this guy. Uh, you can't go in that spot, Justin. <laughs> Damn, it. On the grace. Damn it. What is it? Break? Oh, I don't want you. Oh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm breaking things. I don't wanna I don't wanna attack him, right? So who is the one we okay, so these hardy guys we need to work on and get them off as quick as possible so they're not getting stronger every round. Yeah. yeah. But this guy's also doing that whole two poison on two of us. So he's important to get off the board. This guy's only attacking one attack die. But break. The break part is what I worry about for when I hit him. But the break is you lose your dice, so you want to break. You want to shield bash him. Yeah, you want to shield bash. But if you're breaking dice, you'd want to do it later in the battle after most of the other baddies are done, because then you don't care about your attack dice as much. But he is corrosive. You don't want to get attacked by it and lose. But you only lose the additional ones that you have after his attacks are applied. But then he's only rolling one attack die, so I mean the chance he's going to get corrosive on you is pretty good. 
if you're storing lots of lots of defense dice. Seven. Can I? So I don't know. Either way, I'm more worried about these three than yeah. him. But that's because I don't really store much up in my active slot. But he's most likely attacking one of you guys. So well, he would attack right now. The way it's situated, he'll attack me first. And he's only rolling one die, so that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get this guy off. Yeah, and I'm gonna work on this guy. Okay. So uh, we've done all our start of battle stuff. Yeah. So this guy goes. He's attacking the weakest on the board. Uh, which I think is me or you. Yeah, it's um, me or you. What do you think? I'll take? go. I'll take it. Yeah, so you got that regen, which yeah. is nice. And you'll go next, right? After, After me. You, so yeah. so okay. one. You lose one. Okay. okay. Uh, so that's him. Next is me. I will. Kill, kill, kill. Go, go, go. Yeah, so I'm rolling three attack. If you. Oh, I'll split one hardy, it. Yeah, if you had split it between two hardies. Wow. So they each get one? Mm hmm. Yeah. That's all I'll do. Okay, so I can apply one of these dice to an additional target. So I'll, I'll choose my target thanks to micro neural implant. I'll choose whatever to take three. I'm actually going to apply three to mm -hmm. this guy. That's fine. That's what I would do. And then I will apply one of my dice and exhaust this skill die so I can't use it again unless I can unexhaust it somehow. But we do not have any loot that helps us do that right now. Uh, I'll apply one of these dice to let's the apply bigger one. Well, I'm thinking of just trying to get a guy off the board. And if Justin attacks him next, then he's off before you've been attacking with two dice. But then, like you're saying, there's this it's guy. because he's going to take a lot longer. But it's up to you. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I'll take him down to four. So what does compound do or mean? It multiplies the attack by the round. or the Yeah, oh, so okay. the, it equals the round. X equals round. Okay. And when it gets to the corrosive rounds or the fatigue rounds, I mean, uh, it always stays at five. Five is the max. Yeah. But they could; these two guys could be rolling five attack dice if they're still there in round five, I six, know. seven, eight, whatever. No, I know. Uh, okay, so Mel's so me, turn. I will heal one. It's my Nate. I will roll. Oh yeah. This. Oh yeah. The poison. Two attack, and a, de and a defense for four decks. Yes, on Hardy. Okay, so I will hit him for one. That's good. That's okay, all I so can. hardy versus it's one, whatever it okay. is. I will put poison two on him. Okay, done. I will take a shield. Did you take any damage? No one took any damage yet, right? Uh, no. Okay, so we'll leave that like that. Okay. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm good. Okay. So if I, I have these three defense, mm -hmm. yeah. can I still use four dice or can I just use one? You can still use four die, but you cannot use any more defense. Oh, that's fine. Unless you take some out of there yeah. to roll. But you can start rolling these in your attack No, I don't, need, I don't need them. Or you can move. And yeah, you need to get these yeah. locked, man. Get that I'm up working. there. I'm you trying. need to move for one. We're on day yeah, seven yeah. here, and you haven't got a single lock die. Yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> well, we weren't allowed to even watch. I know. So we've been screwed. Okay. All right, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to move for one. Okay. Okay, so now you have three dice. Three dice. roll three dice. Let's go for a two on the hit, mm -hmm. but well, only a no, one will get through. Party, yeah. so just Come on, locked. There you go. There's a one. And boom. Uh, that's so you have good. The regen. So you could keep the feet if you want to be moving around, or you just or put you it back. Or you can save it for the shield. Ooh. Keep this, 100, 100, Yeah, 000%. yeah, the regen will be nice. <laughs> so one attack takes off him. Yeah, so, so that's fine. The feet, the feet. Ah. Do you care Gives to you, move? And you can move after attacking with no decks used up, or you can keep put it back and try to roll it, keep trying to get that defense, which will... The defense is yeah, good. Yeah, I, I would put it back to be honest, because these guys are so close, you can cool. spend one dex to move around. It's it's not that bad. But if we were in a boss fight or somewhere, you'd need to move around the board a lot. That would make sense. But... Right. At least I got a lock now, guys. Cut. Wait, does this happen at the end of the round? What? At the start, at of, the your start turn, of your turn, every round. Every round. So, like, I have. Nice. Yeah. So that's good. So you can get a little more loosey goosey with rolling these and not leaving as much defense there because if you get hit, you'll at least regen one. And poison sure. is a little bit lower, yeah. right? Because, yeah, you're taking a little less. Okay, so now this guy is going after the weakest, which is either me or you, so me. Well, no, no. Closest, if there was a tie, then we. Right, I, was, I was trying to decide because. Are they the same? Yeah. Well, he's either move this way. Seven. No, no, no. You're so I was at... trying to see who the weakest was because there was two of us. It doesn't matter. It's the closest, which right. you're no, the, no, you no. you guys are tied in distance. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to say to myself, who's the weakest? But me you, you? Oh, I so thought you said never mind, me. Because there's two people, 
Yeah, yeah. So I'm not in the math at all. That's why I didn't understand what you're saying. No, I'm saying who is the weakest out of all of us? Because there's two, and I didn't no, know. No, you. Oh, you'd look for a melee just it. for teaching no, and yeah, for I know, Justin. I know. No, I know you know, but for Justin's purposes, he the the melee guys always look for the closest. If there was ever a tie, which there is right now, the closest could be here. The closest could be here to do an attack. But he looks for the weakest enemy or the weakest. Uh, yeah. So you, it's you, right? Yep. You have one less than he does. So you're the weakest. So he'll just come to this spot. But yeah, when you said it was me involved, I'm not involved in that at all because no. I'm definitely the furthest guy. No, no, no. So I know. I'm just saying. For range, though, that he they will just don't care where you are. They'll That's why I said me and you. Oh, it's me. I'm yeah. the weakest. So that is one attack die because he's minus yeah, two thanks to my defense. woven snare trap. <laughs> Okay, so he hits me for one. Oh, he gets more defense too. He gets that. And... The bones does what? Uh, corrosive, corrosive but I which she has nothing there. in there after applying damage, so okay. it doesn't burn away any of her defense dice and make them exhausted. And then this guy. So now this matters. Who's the weakest on the board? Well, me and Justin are tied. All right, so who's the weakest out of you two? Who do we want to choose? Uh... I have seven. It doesn't matter. Do you have seven? Well, it as does well? matter because it's who he rolls. Oh, sorry, first me and you. On. Me and you, not me and Justin. Yeah. Is it us? Oh, yeah, because yeah, I have I'm the weakest then, sure. So I'll roll two attack dice because he's raging too. He's less than his full health. It's kind of bad that I maybe did that on him. Uh, but he's going to roll two attack dice and poison to me. Mm -hmm. Which he actually would poison to first and then attack. And he attacks for two. Okay, that's why I said this guy is most important on the board. Can you do that to me as well? Poison two? Uh, yes. He attacks both? Yep. And hits me for three. Yeah, see those little two men two people, in that yeah, target? Yeah, yeah. He goes for the weakest first, then the second weakest. Uh, then we have our buddy here, who at the start of his turn will, because of Hardy, only take one poison damage, but down ticket. And then... Roll one. It's gonna roll one attack die. We're still in turn one. Yep. yep. The round one. Hit me for one. Uh oh. Need to heal mail. I will. I will. Okay. Round two. So no, no, nobody new coming in. This guy's first. So he's rolling two attack dice because it's round two and thanks to compound. And the weakest on the board is Mel. So he's is gonna it, roll oh, two. Oh, he's ranged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And mm, dead. kills. I think the beginner would have been. Well, no, no, no. It's just the it's, yeah, it's we're the not choices we make. So Mel, for example, was full health, right? So she could have healed with this or rolled some heal to make sure she was no, I can't. super full. I no, can't. you weren't, right? I was full. Yeah, you were one hundred percent full, right? Yeah, till after my turn. Yeah, so but maybe we're, we're just maybe not taking enough health. Uh, stat. We're ignoring that stat. We are mid to late game, and we're still pretty much at our starting health. Which is, is obviously showing that we're not making it through a round. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe the next training points. We want to just go heavy on the health. Because it's only going to get harder from here. I even made it less hard by flare distraction. So really, we probably, it'd probably be well, worse. Well, I think, I think we shouldn't use flare distraction yet. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe. Having only two enemies on the board versus having... Well, there's still more would come. I just pictured a 20-point baddie would be harder to take off for more rounds, so the battle might go longer, but you might be right. We could all have been... I don't know oh, 20 points of Oh, and at the start of, of the round, we have to add a one point Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. It's just starting right now, so... Oh, boy. Okay. So, next is you. me. And I'll lose two. Another two. And... Go to one. So if Mel, you can just heal me, that'd be great. Too late. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so on my turn. I also think maybe you and I should have been on the opposite sides. Like, oh, like for me started? getting hit by so many guys. Is yeah, probably... the, you're, yeah, the melee attacking should have been you in the, this position taking melee attacks. Yeah. Uh, okay. But that's okay. Hindsight is 20-20. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, it's let like me forty go. twenty. The problem is his weakest attack, dude. Here, will he be gone before he attacks again? We can only hope. Then the poison two is also a problem. All right. Let me just roll my dice and see what I get, and then I can choose my target thanks to my implant. All two, right. Three, so that's four. not a bad roll. Four. So I could get rid of the poison, dude. Mm -hmm. 
when I roll the bones on this guy. So I was coming back. I think taking someone off the board is good. And someone that's going to hit multiple people is good. Yeah, what's this guy going after? Weakest. Oh, oh no, he'll take me out. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. I oh. think either would take you out, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just hit this guy. Get him off the board. Uh, this here. Die comes out. And he goes defeated pile. Okay. So now I should kill this guy. Now you will heal one at the start of your turn if you can. You're at seven already, so you're yeah, full. full. I would, so he's not rolling three dice next round on the weakest person, which might be you by the time you're on board. Yeah, right now he's going to hit Rob. Mm -hmm. This is correct. Unless... Yeah, there's, I just have no, to hit way, him for there's one, no right? way you could, unless you rolled your feet. If you can kill that guy and get in front of him from attacking me, that's... That's the only way that would save him. That's the only way that would well, save me. Let's see what happens with the feet. Yeah. No feet. No feet. Two hits here. Yep, so just one. So one. So he's gone. gone. This goes there, yep. this goes to you. And then, oh, I got two bones. But nobody to back up plan. Shield bash, yes. But you have it prepared for next uh, time. You, you could want. tick this up and get some more defense there if you're worried. Uh, no, he rolled the red one. I know I've overrolled both of these. Oh, you rolled both of those? Yeah, right but now? he could turn oh, the defense okay. to one because of his raider armor. And what's your one? Your oh, that training thing, right? The yeah, red yeah. minotaur. Okay. So is he going to move from where he is yep. to here? Well. Well, you could choose. Yeah, that's right. I will choose. Well, his least movement would be here, here, or here. But he's gonna but go. then he goes you. the weakest. So he we could pick here, and then he attacks me. Yeah, yeah. So then you're already there. Yeah, let's do it. More shield. Okay. Um, okay, so then he will go next, and you said you want him to go here? I think so. Okay, so he's going to roll one attack. Attacking me is actually good with his corrosive. One attack, one defense. Go for a bone, One buddy. defense, too. Oh, it's a two. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So I am gone. So now he has no more defense? He rolls no more defense die until you knock those away. But he has those there yeah. for you to get through. Okay, and then this guy, he's going to roll two die. Oh, that's the other thing. We could have put him... Oh, he's going to lose one. We could have put him here instead. So then this guy has... No, we couldn't because he was attacking you. Oh, that's right. Sorry, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. So this guy will lose one. Because of the poison, that's gone. He's almost dead now. Oops, sorry. I'll give you that, and then he will move straight Wait, and attack Rob. you. This is for you. No, oh, thanks. So he's attacking you for two. Okay. Yeah. So now I go first. So now these two guys are gonna come on. So that one oh, is. Oh, but two can't. Lane two, flying yearling or er, griffin yearling, whatever. Is it melee? Uh, he tries to go here in the melee position. And he can't get there, so he'll go to slot number three. Oh, really? Yep. And this one. Uh, so oh, it is a uh, hardy right. compound. Cobalt Tracker's back, okay, this but coming in later in the... Well, he's rolling more attack dice, right? Because he's... Oh, he's... Yeah. Yeah, this is very bad. Uh, so he's going to come in the range position here. And then at the end of... Uh, okay. And then at the start of round three... Yep. We'll add, we'll add another one-pointer. One and then Justin is first. Are you full? Yep. Okay. So, so if I attack this guy, yep. the dice that I use get exhausted. The no, they don't. Only. Oh, they do. Yeah. Sorry, it's break too, right? Yeah. yeah. The attack dice? Only, only attack dice. You mm -hmm. choose not to apply them. Oh. But you could also get off this guy who's swinging three dice this turn or but, start wrecking this guy. But be careful because he's going to corrode any die that you have here. So they're going to be exhausted. So you could choose to roll them for bones or something and not put them in your slot if you want. Yeah, depending on who you're attacking right now. But he's still only attacking with one dice, right? Correct. For, yeah. Sounds okay. So if but you if you roll the bones and didn't even hit you, he would exhaust these, burn both of them, and exhaust them, which literally reduces the stat now by two. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm going to attack this guy for okay. because he only needs one. Okay. So, so yeah. do you want to take any of these out now and throw them into your roll? To save them. Because so that, that guy's going next. 
You could leave one die up. So he'll go there and he'll cr do the corrosive. If he rolls if a bone. If he rolls a bones. Oh, on his one attack die? Right. Yes. It's, it's just play the odds. Your call. That's, I'm just, we're just telling you what can happen. There's one X or two? One, I think. Yeah, there's only one bones on this. Yep. Okay. Nah, I'll leave it. Okay. If it happens, you know. Yep. <laughs> it right. happens. So, so I am. We attack him. Four dice. I would recommend trying to get this guy yeah, on the board. That's, that's three attack dice less that are coming at you this round. But it does open you up so that this guy can get in there and attack you for two dice. Well, I can only use three. Your call. Okay, so you definitely got so him. So this guy? Yeah. And he oh. is gone off the board into the five. And I can't do my shield bash now. No, because no, he's, he's your target. But you have it now there. If this guy doesn't roll bones, do you have it for next? All right. Anything else on your turn? No. No. Okay. okay so you roll your die and see if you he's attacking you. your own. No. All right. So, so he hits it for one. one. This goes away. No right. corrosive no happens. Corrosive. Then uh, purple is going to come in and roll two attack die on you. And hit you for three. Three. A two get blocked. And then mm -hmm. fly in the air. So then one get through. All right. That's fine. Oops, sorry. Okay. And then this, this guy is going to roll three attack die on you. Oh, there goes all my shields, guys. Oh, that's a go here. Uh, so he hits you for four. four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Down to two. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So End of the round. this guy's going to come in. He's uh, a five. One, two, three, four. Five. It's going to lean three melee. What does that say on it? Break. Oh, this another one? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It only has for one attack die. Round four, oh. so another one point baddie's coming in. Yeah. Okay, and you are first, so you will heal one. Yeah. I'm healing up, guys. Healing up. All right, and now it's you. Um, so this guy, everything reduced down to one, right? Yep. And he's flying, can't Take do anything. Yep. This guy also? No, he's break. Yep, yeah, so only attack die will be exhausted. One, two, three, four, five, seven. six, seven. Three defense. I mean, you could roll the attack. You maybe might get bones or something. You never know, right? And one attack. Three defense and attack. Who are you attacking? This guy. Okay. Well, but, oh, but yeah, oh, I, I have to get nine through, right? Well, no, you can remove his shields. So those won't break your die. Don't forget about this guy. I was rolling more attack dice. He'll be rolling five attack dice. Every round, unless you get them off the board. But I have to. I have It'll to. Take two rounds. It'll take two rounds, right? That now you're saying you want three rounds in a row to take five, 15 dice total versus <laughs> this guy's one dice three times? You're right, you're right. Come on. You can right. still roll all those for the defense if you want defense. Yeah, just that, load but... up. Yeah. Let's so do you this. hit him for one. And remember, if you can get to four bones, you could heal two and put a two defense eye up there with benevolence on your backup plan. If I can get to what? Four bones? Four bones. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So this is, I'm going to take these up to twos. Yeah, <laughs> load up on the defense. Makes sense. Nobody's poisoning you on the board right now, which is nice. But you got to watch out for corrosive dude. Mm -hmm. And do I take this as the... Was well, you're going to go through... Bone before, right? before this yeah. guy goes... Oh, he's going next. Yeah. <gasps> That's the problem. So we are attacking. This guy got his lost yeah, one he health. Lost okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so. Uh, it was a bone that you switched. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ooh, I would keep the bone to be on. You think so? Yeah. But unless point. we bet this guy won't roll well, the Well, I'm corrosive. rolling it. I'm rolling it. So He's got to roll the bones, right? Mm -hmm. Only At one. At least it's only one attack. Yeah. Your call. I mean, maybe Ready? take the defense. Nah, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Yo, man. Do you foresee me winning this? I, I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. So these are over here now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This guy still get one more defense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was him. So this guy now hit, rolls two on you, and then he's not flying it after this. Hits you for two. Okay. Still alive, guys. And then this guy's going to roll four die on you. Which yeah, one? This, is, this. this guy. <laughs> You're dead. Four bones? Dead. Five. <laughs> Right. Dead. And, okay. we, and we didn't do it. What do you know? Surprise, surprise. Oh so uh, these guys will go on the bottom Told of you. their stacks. Yeah, get rid of them. Well, most of them are going to come back. Nah. Do we need one more to... Um... Yeah, we still need to... Yeah, still need progress. So this actually 
We'll be going into day eight. So if we do not get this progress, there is no chance to fight the tyrant because we have to do it in nine days. So this is the game. Oh all right. wait, these are all uh, gone, right? So I'm recovering. This is back. Yeah, yeah same recover? here. Uh, That's locked. Two, this is four, back five, here. Six, seven. Yep. And we're not getting any better health, but we're getting higher up on the days. This is rough. Uh, okay, so I will move us to eight. This is gone. Okay. Well, maybe it'll be something easy. Something like pigs battle. to the slaughter. All days felt like we've been corralled down a specific path. From impassable roadblocks to strange suggestions offered by traveling merchants. There is no way it's all a coincidence. <coughs> Excuse me. If anything else were to come up, and there it is, another oddity. Since we have had, since when have road signs been posted in uncharted forests? This one, hastily and crudely made with paint still fresh, reads, left for fun, right for bad things. It sounds fitting. Left for fun, right for bad things. Options. Fun, of course. Mm -hmm. Two training points. Bad EQ is baddie points. Battle Q is baddie points. During battle. For every baddie with five or more HP that comes onto the battle map, immediately add one point baddie to the bottom of the battle queue. But if we're over the 20 point mark... We're on day eight? It's only one. But then some of the one points have five did you health. Say we're on, are we on day eight or did you not speak? We're on day eight. Yeah, okay. eight is 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, okay. eight. Yes. Okay. Just double checking. Uh, or... Uh, choice two is a trove loot question mark. Let's call their bluff. It turns out bad things is actually unguarded trove loot chest with complex lock. You'll have one chance before stalkers realize the route you chose. Draw the top loot card. Select one gear lock to perform a lock pick attempt. If successful, that gear lock gains and unlocks that trove loot card immediately. If not, discard it. It does not affect counter success. Then we fight a battle with battle cube body points. The first one. First one's risky, but I do like the possible chance of points. Uh, but look at the top trove loot thing. Four two two. That's not the worst. Four two two is not terrible. I know, but for but one person, and nobody has any loot that helps them lockpick better. No. If they did, I would say that. But so fun, of course. Option number one. Is that what we want to do? I vote number one. Yep. I don't know what's gonna be fun, but sure. <laughs> I, I I think it's rip, like it's bad because it's gonna be harder. Yeah. But we've fallen so far behind that need... I think we need those two extra training points. But this progress, if we don't get it and we don't succeed on this card, right. we don't fight the tyrant. So all or nothing is how I'm looking at it. All or nothing. Are you good? Yeah. yeah. Fun. Fun. Yeah. Left yeah. for fun. All right. Oh, is this going so to I will high? scout. Uh, let's scout. Yes. It doesn't. What are we at? How much? Uh, 24. 24. All right, so I'll look at a 20 point value with my scout ability. <laughs> oh it gosh. is the oh. Honor Griffin. So this bad guy, eight. So he definitely will bring a one point baddie in if we keep him. Goes at five initiative, five attack dice. He has flight and dive, just like the other five pointer version. So that means after he goes at five initiative and attacks someone with five dice, he goes in the air and is untargetable. So he'll come back down. Dive next to the weakest person, attack for five more dice. So he will wipe out a gear lock most likely, like within two turns, no problem, somebody's dying. Then if he rolls two bones, he needs two bones miss. If he gets that, he'll stun the person he's attacking, which means they don't take their next turn. So this guy terrible. is ridiculous. And look at this little symbol here. When he comes on to the board, he'll add that many five point baddies to the battle queue. Two. Two. He's awful. Completely. He, and he moves diagonal. And he goes after the strongest. I am putting him to the bottom. Is he melee or ranged? I can possibly trap him. He is melee. I'm going to put him to the bottom. Yeah, that's All terrible. Right. The next one is going to be just the same. <sighs> so, my trap. Where am I putting my trap now that I have no information? Who's the first one? Well, I would try to trap the 20 point. I mean, it's hit or miss if they're melee or range, but... Should I just put it on the range slot? I don't know what else is in there. I don't know. I don't know these 20 points enough. So the dragons are usually ranged. Mm -hmm. The sorry. bogs, I think that there is a big bog guy. There's two big bog guys in the 20-pointer. I don't remember what they are. Put it on the range, bro. Put it on the range? Yeah. 
It didn't work last time, so maybe it'll work this time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's put it there. It might even miss and it'll roll it anyway, yeah. so whatever. We'll see. We'll all see right. if it's meant to be. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's build our queue. And you said we are at 24. 24. Mm -hmm. so 20 and Wish I kept that flare distraction. Sorry, Mel. That's uh, okay. That's okay. No, it'll still be 21. Well, that's okay. It's still better. <laughs> I hope this guy doesn't bring more guys into the queue or we're done. And we already, everyone that's over five. Yep. Uh, anyone that comes in with five or more HP on the battle mat immediately adds a one point baddie to the bottom of the queue. No, no. Not the, the one pointers. No way. There's some that are. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's true. All right. All right. So we've seen this guy before. He is the bog worm. That he is, is ranged. He is oh, ranged. Oh, you got it. How does and a worm one attack range? die. One attack die. Oh. So he could not he's, attack. He's corrosive automatically corrosive. So this one attack die, if it's a bones ever, corrosive, and a uh, poison two. What if he doesn't have to roll it? Nine health. That's, that's right. That's it. And he attacks all of us. Forms. So you need to hit on that one. Oh. Minus two. So he doesn't even roll attack dice, but he will do poison two on all three of us over and over again. Okay. The three weakest. So if I can get the Wolverine out, I mean, he'll get hit by one, but I mean, we need to take that guy out. Okay, so now he brings in a one point. One point. Did you put that? No. No. So, do you want to do that kind of separate? Bottom of the battle queue. Oh, because it's everyone, right? Yep, it yeah. says add at the bottom of the battle okay. queue. Okay. Each time they hit the mat. All right. So, next is three health, hardy, kobold, green thumb. Got it. Uh, melee. Lane two. So, we don't add one for him. Okay. That yes. seems to be on round one. Uh, so, lashback pup. That's a good one to get. Go to lane three, melee. Doesn't right. add one. Now this guy does add one. <laughs> Clay Golem, the one in lane four, adds a one pointer to the bottom of the battle queue. So what if we run out of one pointers? Do we recycle? Shuffle. During yeah. battle, if the value of five or more HP comes on the battle mat. Yeah, so so just... even if I were to use my lure away and get a five point or less off the mat, yeah, you bring... if he came back in and it was five health, then uh, we'd one. have to add another one. So yeah. got to watch for that. Uh, okay, so we're good. Four, finally. Show me a six. Oh, six. <laughs> that landed right in there. Awesome. Two. Two. Oh, you can go in front of him. Oh, that's bad. This is the initiative. It's killer. Okay. Uh, okay. Isn't there well, a your shield wall. Let's see. Isn't there a reroll? I wish. There are, there are loot or troll loot. Something that lets you do that. Two, all right, two, make two. them all twos, man. Two, uh, hold on. Isn't corrosive still going to happen even if he doesn't roll any die? Correct. So it doesn't even matter. Correct. But how does, yeah. he, but how does he... I wouldn't take those dice. I man. wouldn't take them because you won't go before he can do that. But is he going to... Oh, he hits everybody with corrosive? Yeah, so I wouldn't even take Always. them. We need to take them off the board no matter is what. Is he the first? Yes. Yeah, because he's going to go after Rob. Yep, don't take, don't take any. Or you'll start losing defense right off the bat. And you'll never survive long term if you do that. At least all these guys are only rolling one attack die, so we should... Be okay for a few rounds. Okay, so. So we need to take him off the board. Do you want to take him off the board or do you want me to go and take him off the board? How are we gonna take him off the board? Well, somebody's gotta go in here and move here. Rob can do it from far, but we need to. Poison 2 is encrosive, is gonna kill us. Yeah, he is the most important, obviously, to take off the board. I can deal with one attack dice coming from guys. Like, yeah. I don't care about that. And this guy's okay. hardy, so but he's not go. compound. Okay, so I'll do that. So however we can, no. Yeah, he's gonna go in. He's gonna take attack from him and him. But you being on this side, this guy will die quicker because this guy's hardy. He's gonna be around for like probably three turns. Yeah. This guy will, should you be able to kill quicker, you'll actually be able to move in if you oh, need to to attack. Saying. Okay, like, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's a greater resistance getting through here yeah. on this side. And I might be able to take him out one. And turn, yeah. then in that case, do you want to move? Us? Yeah, I, mean, I will actually based on where you guys went. Because here he's, they're attacking the strongest. So this guy, who's going first? Purple? Yeah. He'd move in and then this guy for sure would come after me. At least this way, this guy, we could make him go here, attack this. And then this one, he's like, I can't get around. Well, he has to go this way. One, two. Well, it depends. I don't want to move. No, it depends who's through. where. They can't go through, so I have to go I know, around. but who's moving first? All right. Uh, We're good. In which yeah. order do these guys move? Uh, so Blue, purple, yellow, green. Cool. Which one's so, those? So he'll move this he'll move. move. We'll move down. He's first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I yeah. see here. I see the problem. Here. And then this guy would... Uh, cross. He would go that way yeah. to him and block him in. So I need to go... I need to go here. Okay. Because then we can't get to that guy. Well, this guy's going to attack you, and then this guy's going to come and attack you. 
I yep. see, I see, I see. But they're only single die. I think I can... Unless I can get my Wolverine out, but no, that's not, let's not bet on that. Okay. You still want to be there if we moved? No, you should come over here. Or else that other guy can come and get you. Yeah, They're I'll all going... Here. Yeah. Who's all going before me? Who's this one? Everyone is going before you, except that's just for that this guy. guy. <laughs> oh. oh, wait. So he wouldn't move in and block. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. So back so back up, back up. Yeah, I chicken out over here. Yeah, because this guy will attack. Oh, he gets to go you first. Get yeah, to go yeah. Before him. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we were forgetting you in the middle there. Okay. Oh. I thought you were going last. There. Okay. All right. So it's plans, good. plans, plans. So you are first. Mm hmm. I'll roll Wolverine. Three attack dice. I'll target this guy. I can change it after. Or do I split it up? I don't know if I want to split yet. I don't know what else is coming in. The hardy guy is a thing. But he only he only has one attack die no matter yeah, what. He's not, not compound. When he use compound on hardy, then then it's like urgency, but Yeah, I don't really feel like wasting my split yet. No. Okay. Kill this guy. Yeah. Uh so Alright, so my little Wolfie. Uh, I'm gonna put on the board for three. I need to use the decks to keep him on next turn. I'll put him right here Okay, mm -hmm. then four. four attack uh, So yeah. that is off That's this perfect. guy Let's And That is that blue dude uh, whoops. So I'll just poison two the three weakest which would be the Wolverine and me and Rob Okay, now me, I will just take lose one health. Yeah, one health because you're innate. Okay. And take your poison. Okay. I will roll two attack. One defense in this. Oh, I have to take red bones, right? No, that's not a red bone. Oh, that's not a red bone. Yeah, no. Okay, so we're gonna put that back. I'll hit the pup. Oh no, sorry. We'll put that there first. <laughs> I'll hit the pup for two, and then I'll block the lash back. Oh, he's almost dead. Sorry. Okay. Now the pup's turn is it? Now, nope. Now this guy. So he will move down here. We said and attack you for one. Nothing. Bones missed. Then yellow will roll one die on me, and hit me for one. Oh. Why do they always miss other people and hit me? It's the roll. Then you. Me. All right. So I'm using one to get up here. And then. I was with three decks to spend. Yeah. So I'm going to do two defense. Uh, no. No. I would definitely gonna, roll two yeah, attack. I would do two attack because he's going to corrode your. Maybe try to get some of that this going. This one. Yeah. He can't corrode this one though if you get that going. But the health one would be pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Well, sounds good. But you may miss, and it may turn into bones. And then you can spend the bones right now and get it back into the slot to reroll it later. So if you line that up for something. Or if I get the feet, I can move away. It doesn't matter. No. Okay. No. Let's get the heart. All right. There you so go. Heart. Going All right. You for two? two? Yeah. Okay. All right. There's only two health left. Okay. And then this guy will now roll one die on you. Hit you for one. All right. Uh, no one to come in. Nope. Round two. Uh, this guy will go. Hardy will only make him lose one off the poison. Uh, I need to spend a dex to do it, so now I only have to keep him on the board. So I'm only down to three decks on my turn next. Okay. Uh, I will, I guess, just put him here and ping this guy for one. And then uh, my turn, poison, those two. Okay, uh, so I can do three attack. Let's go. This guy's gone already, but he will go again. I don't want to refresh the poison. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go for the 20 pointer. Um, Only two hits left. 
Yeah, let's go for him. Yeah, he goes next, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely want him off the board. All right, oh, I you just got, two. got it. Wow. I'll take a bones, and he goes. And Achievement he's unlocked. Back. Exhausted. <laughs> 20 point beaten. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, that, I think, is my turn. Okay, so the poison and my heal will just negate each other. Um, You're so going to kill that gonna backlash roll. thingy, right? Flashback. I'm going to try. Let's try that again. Same as last time. Okay, we'll lock that in. I hit him for two, so he's dead. And then I get a bone. Do you want to spend that bone to heal any gear locks right now? Yeah, just one second. <laughs> or, or eat some mixed berries. You. Or I think you can save your mixed berries for a tyrant battle coming up next. Uh, well, I was hoping to. Um, Still can. You, we do have only three one-pointers. I will heal But they could you, add more one-pointers. I will heal you one. Sweet. So then the poison, One matters. Yeah. Because I'll heal again. I shouldn't get attacked. All right, so. this one Yeah. is next. Yep. He's going to attack your wolf for uh, one. One attack that, please. One. Oh. Ah. Oops. Uh, Hardy, only one goes away, so the wolf will die at the start of his turn. Okay, and now Justin, you can heal one if you're not already full. Oh, I'm not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. okay. And now, what you, now I can now use my shields. shields. Yeah, so going now off you with defense. Do a shield wall. Yeah, try to get this going, man. We need break. that for the tyrant battle for sure. Get that, like, man, roll it now. Don't even think about it. But do I do the shield wall thing, or is this? Or not the shield wall? Sorry, try to get this shield bash going. Because shield bash yeah. is great against him because it doesn't break those dice. Yeah. Yeah, I would roll that. Yeah, I would honestly. Yeah, it's best. There, there you it go. is. Lock that defense in, man. And but then. If you do do a shield wall, or a shield bash, sorry, it will remove that one as well. But that's fine. But that's Maybe fine. he doesn't need to do it. Like, who cares about this guy? We can let him die in the fatigue rounds. He's not the worst. In the fatigue round? Yeah, yeah. when he starts losing a true damage every turn. Oh, yeah. Or you can, okay. choose, or you can choose to use your attacks on him. All right. Yeah, so he's going to roll one attack. Two, so he'll lose one. Okay, so now this guy's coming in. End of the round. He's only and three. And he's only three. So doesn't add. Ah, nice. In the round. Lane one. Ranged. He has the engulf. So that's another way we can hit this guy, possibly. But he goes after the weakest, which will actually be <laughs> Oh, no. And oh, no. he's not good. going first, is he? Oops. Uh, he's at the bottom of the order. Oh, this one doesn't have this anything This guy's either. terrible. So this guy is going here. Also bottom of the order. But not five health, so he's not adding more guys. Okay. So he only round has two hits, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he's three now. This guy rolls three. Three dice. Two health, though. Okay, my, my first. I will so not keep this guy on the board. <laughs> uh, this is gone. Uh, I will lose one on my turn, thanks to poison. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do three attack. And let's split it up with the arrow. All one, right. one, one. So, three attack. I will choose my target now. Let's just mm -hmm. take off. Yeah, let's take yes. off and golf, guys. Yes. There's no good spot for him. If he was hitting other guys, I'd keep him, but uh, let's go. Golf guy, one pointer off the board. Um, let's see. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. And then you're splitting it, so you can put two... I can take two of these dice now with my multi-arrow and apply it to somebody break. else. The break guy? One or both? No, two. I don't want to apply it to break guy because then I'll lose those dice because I'll get exhausted. Can you do one on this guy? So then I can yes, potentially... Yes, that is correct. Thank he's you. the more dangerous. Yeah. Obviously now he's a better hardy target than this yeah, guy. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going uh, to try to get him. Okay, and then that was it. No other bones or anything. So this is exhausted. And I've used all my skill dice. Done. All right, all right. that's it for you. You. Heal okay, so one. Heal one. Oops. All right. So I will use one dex to move up. Yes. How many can you heal? <laughs> uh, two more. Two more. So, okay. Well, if I roll a bone, I'll heal you. Okay. So we're attacking this guy. Yes. Okay. So I hit him. He's dead. I will... Is that spent? I will spend one bone using my backup extension to heal you for one. Yay! Here we go. Okay. And that is me. 
this guy. For Hardy guy. He's going guy. for the strongest. Uh, well, closest oh, yeah. is just you, so he'll oh, go there. Less yeah. movement. So uh, one, one attack die on you. One. one. Reduce your shields. Now you. Now Are you, you full? Or can I just use this one? Yes, you can. You can exactly do Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot you had it. Uh, <laughs> so you're already at seven health full. You're not going to yeah. heal up. So, so what do you do? In order for me to do the shield bash, I have to get two... You get these five, right? Yeah. In order for, so I have five, technically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in order for me... So you need to Which, roll some bones. So... Uh, but you're only allowed to roll one defense dice right now because these are here. So three... Oh. Roll two attack die and one defense die. And you can attack this guy instead if you'd like. Yeah, it's not a, not a bad thing. But I can also choose not to attack, right? Yep. Yes, yes. Well, who is your target? That's who you had to choose that before you rolled. This guy. Okay, yeah. All right. So you definitely took off one health because he's hardy. And you get a two defense thanks to your radar armor. Right? Yeah, and then you build up the bones and then you attack the break guy. All right, so now nothing I else on your turn. Bones somehow. This guy goes, rolls one against Justin. Nothing. Bones, misses. All right, end of the order. Uh, this this guy. guy will come in and he's not five health, so we don't Beautiful. add another guy. Flight. That's fine. That's fine. So he tries to go melee spot one, then tries two, then tries three, but then goes four because okay. they're all full. Oops. And now round four, I will go and three you attack, could take one out defense. The Hardy guy. I could, but this guy's on the ground yeah. and not in the air, and then rolls two attack dice. Although it would take us to get he will not reach anybody for a turn, so he will not roll attacks, which means he won't fly yet. So he actually can stay there. Assuming nobody gets closest closer to him. Where is he going? Last in the order? Yeah, as long as we don't yeah. move closer to him, we're fine. I'll just take him out. I'll try. Yeah. Out. Uh, one, two. Yeah, that's that. And a bone. And a bone. Which and a could defense. split my targets. Nope, doesn't matter. And a defense. Sweet. So he goes with a one point defeat a body pile. That was a blue? Yeah. Yep. And that goes there. And we did choose the first one, right? On this. On this. Yeah, and yep. now it's Mel since he's gone. Or, so I think I can. Ah, uh, the blue guy left one. long time ago. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, six is full. Okay, I will move one dex. Uh, let's do this on this guy, obviously. So Bang. two attack, and then I got one defense if needed. And he was a one. Okay, Justin. You're already full on health. So now you can break your die because go crazy. He's he, he's so last guy. Board, I can roll four, four attack, right? Uh, no, no, you, you can only roll have two attacks. Two attack. so. ha. How are you making up these? <laughs> you didn't train that good. All right, uh, so you hit him for two. Do, Do you want, want to apply them? You don't have to. If not, my plan is to come here and do it. He'll likely do it because at this point... So it's only... If, um, if I hit him for two, it's only three more? Yeah. Yeah. But then you have no attack dice for the rest of the battle. They'd be exhausted. But, yeah. But he's going to go first, then I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, he I'll might hit not him. even no, get I'll hit, I'll hit him. I don't mind just sitting there. <laughs> I don't think he'll make it to your turn unless we roll oh, terrible. Yeah. So this guy goes, rolls one on Justin. One. Uh, auto, defense. Auto shield. Oh, yeah. Auto yeah. one. Nice. Uh, okay, so whoops, and round five. Uh oh, I'll go first. Is this the auto or is this the no, attack? Next one. Uh, one defense uh, on this guy. All right, two defense, one bones, which before doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll burn these so if you can remove two health off him, a little exhausted. Uh, I'll pop my fortunate discovery. Which I believe just gets me a consumable of my choice. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm going to do camo die. Yes. I do love camo. Uh, so I think so. On this one, um, let me just make sure I can do it on the tire battle. <sighs> See back for Don't details. Fight. Camo. Roll this skill die when acquired and keep it in the lock slot until used. Gilly must keep a rolled result. Use an exhaust camo when facing a battle encounter with BQ baddie points. Yes, BQ baddie points. Okay. Um, so I can... So the best result is a plus minus three to the points. So I can tweak the points to try to make us have less baddies. Mm -hmm. Now that I've learned that a 20 point and some ones is better than <laughs> three fives and a one. Or three whatever. fives and three, okay. ones? three ones? That's yeah. okay. Uh, 
or it could two looks like how many are I want to see what the odds are here. Uh, there's two chances of being one, three chances of being two, and one. So it's most likely I could raise or lower it by three, two, which would okay. be nice because next one is nine times three, 27. Mm -hmm. If I can lower it by three, it's really good. That's nah, nah. Right? Nah. Or do I want to get it to 30 by well, raising it? Yeah, you want to get, yeah, well. Then you oh, lower it by two. No, I can lower it by two. And that gives us 25. 25. So 20 and a five. That's yeah. Plus the box. Yes, yes. That's better. But the, but the 20 could bring in other fives, which is yeah. so stupid. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Well, two. that's what we All right. Wanted. So that's locked. And I'll use it before the next one. Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. So that's it for you? Uh, yeah. Yes. Mel, you just hit him for one. So please. Me. Please. One, he's, two. he's doing too much damage to Justin's wall of shields. <laughs> yes. I can wall two. And I hit him for two. Oh, but. good. So, so only one is there anything you want to do before that? Nope, no. that stays locked till the yep. next battle. Yep. Uh, okay, so that is gone. That's gone. That's there. Uh, reset to one. I was hoping to get a bone to heal you one more so that you were full. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because I was already full. You're full. Skill dice back. Oops, sorry. Trap back. Uh, These are okay. gone. Yep. These yeah. are exhausted, but they're now back. They're yeah, back, they're yeah, they're off your mat. Uh, okay, so here's reward phase. Let's start with our loot. Oh, thank you. you. Something, loot something. for you, loot for you, loot for me. I got a treasure map, single use. Ooh. Treasure trove map. Shuffle special encounter into the stupid thing. But we're going to the boss yeah. right now, right? So I'm going to save that for recovery phase and toss that to try to find better loot. Because mm -hmm. my health is close enough. I know I wanted one more bone to heal you full, but I couldn't. Yeah, but maybe I can survive the next one that you could do it in a mm -hmm. round or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I'll hold on to that just to maybe toss it away. So I got utility parts, single use. On your turn, unexhaust one die. Uh, may include fellow gearlock die, so I can unexhaust your wolverine or something. Okay. Or your... Yeah, but here, here's what I think we really need to do, and we forgot the last few turns, is Mr. Hardy over here, that or Mr. Uh, Wall of Shield that lasts forever... We need to give him the stuff. So even though he's got the radar armor, we keep that. But get rid of this other one. We need to trade yeah. that off of him. What did you get? Augur herbs. Oh, got herbs. So yeah. some heal. Yeah. One time. Three uses. One time. Each yeah. time. You could do it all three together on your turn. Yeah. But if there is giving him something else to help, like unexhausting a die, we might want him holding that. Instead of you or I, because one of us may die, and then nobody's there to unexhaust the die. But then again, heal. Does he really need heal anymore? Is that good for him to hold a heal? Maybe if he's the last one on the board. Well, maybe you're uh, better. Mel's to taking a lot of hits. So. I know, I do. So let's finish the reward phase first. Uh, but this is gone. you will discard the red minotaur. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, next is. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. Next is uh, training three points. training points. Three. three. And we'll go up progress. So we're there. We know our progress is good, but we'll do three training points. This, we're making up for the last time here. So All right. I'm definitely going oh. up a health. Yeah, one at a time, I guess I'll we'll do this. One up a health. Take a HP right away. Uh, let me think here. Dex is... I'll try on an attack, actually. Uh, rolling three dice. Oops. Oh. My man. I got it. Okay. Nice. So attack of four. Um, let me think I'm gonna up my uh, I'll up my decks to five. All right. All right. I am going to take one health to seven. I'm going to take my bone saw, which just does some additional damage for a boss fight. And my med pack, which also does some additional heal. Uh, you can't take the med pack because you don't have fast hands. Yes, I do. Oh, it's there. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Woo! Sorry. Forgot it was locked. Sorry, I should have said that. No, I no, I was no. like, wait, you can't take these two. What's going no, on? No, no, no. Sorry. I should have said that. Uh, all right. So that's me, my three. What would you like to do? <laughs> He's looking at his menu here. What do you want to order? <laughs> oh, man. So some recommendations. I would... So what are you at? Seven? Health. I yeah. would probably take an HP no matter what. Yeah, yeah. just because we're going to a boss fight, right? Sure. Here, do you want one? And Get we're playing with 20 it. point baddies now, which hit for we've seen five attack dice, so that could knock you out in a turn. Uh, your dex is four, and your max dice here is, is interesting it's because five. it's five, but you lock up sometimes, so it doesn't matter. And these are locked now, so you don't have to worry about rolling skill dice. So maybe your dex is fine being there, 
But I do want to increase your... my defense so that uh, you can roll more defense yeah. dice. So I can roll more defense dice. It also okay. lets you more, roll more so at the beginning for shield wall. So you got to train so for you, it. Yeah, oh, but okay. he has automatic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you have Raider armor. I forgot. Automatic. All right. So yeah, I'm going up two though. That's it. You're not going to take another skill die to roll. Here. Yeah. Like nah. sword advance and maybe get some extra attack. You could get one of the. So I did. I only get three, right? One yeah. here. Two here. If you want to, there. So if I go to four, the I problem is you're only rolling four dice a turn. So yeah. I, I don't know if I'd go up to four defense. But to so attack. if I do four up here, then I can just roll two. Uh, you do what you want, but I understand why you're trying to do that. It makes sense. You can do it that way. I'm not going to stop. Because this does have the most bones on it as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it gives you more odds of doing shield bash no, but or getting okay. kill two. And no, well, you're right. I'll do the I'll do the attack. Three and it could or it could be the feet. Could turn to the feet. Sword advance or that. Um, uh, no. Are you allowed to take that one? No. Is this one? Oh, five. Sorry. Yeah. I put them in order so I could just do the. Boom. Yeah, that's a good one. Because then that's an auto attack like that. It just adds so it plus adds one damage. Plus one every, so even if you roll bones on your attack and don't do any attack, that's still one hit you're doing to him. Okay. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. Uh, all right. So that's reward phase done. On to the recover phase, uh, where I'm not going to heal up. Trading loot, though. Do we want to trade loot? I think I should just give you this. Actually, let me do my attempt first. Sure. I'm not going to scout, because I'll scout anyway with my ability. So hopefully I can see something we'll keep and I can put a trap on. Uh, five attack dice. Two! Two bones. Don't so you this... do six attack dice? Yeah. Oh, sorry, there's six. My bad. That's uh, okay. Give me another bones. Nope. No. Okay. All right, so this goes to the bottom. I look at the top two. Sorry, I forgot it was five or six. That's okay. Ah, uh, two lock picking. Ugh. Big waste. It doesn't help me in the final battle for sure. Uh, but if it, oh, if a training attempt fails, sorry. Gadget Arms training attempt. Mm. Are we doesn't... Gonna, we're not really going to do it. But maybe you'll have to throw something away for something and it'll see. I don't no, know. No, we're not, not on the yeah, we're on the final battle. Uh, these are both useless. I don't see why I would need to keep any of them. Yeah, let's just toss them. Let's make, keep it clean. All right. Anyone want to trade anything around? Now that you've seen how battles seem to be going? Yeah, heal. I'll take it. Yeah, I seem to be okay with the healing. Like, I'm okay. Do you want to give him utility parts just in case he's still alive to unexhaust a die for you or me? Because he could unexhaust your heal if you're still alive. Or he could sure. unexhaust like my split arrow, a trap. Uh, oh no, traps have to only happen in the beginning. Or, or my Wolverine he could bring back. I just say because he probably will be the one who's still alive after one yep. or you or I die. Yep. Based on how it's gone. Uh, yes. Sounds good. All right. Scouting. Uh, we need to scout now <laughs> so we can set up. I can't because I did the look for better loot. Oh, right. So you two can scout away. Yeah. Scout a so 20. So we need to roll a six. You need to roll a six. Five. I'll look at a five. Well, that's going to be important too. Hardy, inspire one, Cobalt fanatic. He's melee, attacking for only three attack dice, but he inspires one. I so wish that... I could remember what the other two were. But he's a three, so he goes kind of late on the initiative order. The Hardy, though, is the problem. He sticks around so long. But he, yeah, he's only rolling three attack dice. He's not compound, so it never gets more than three. But, but he, he also inspire, six health. He could inspire somebody then to yeah. roll a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to put him on the bottom. bottom. All right. Okay, go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Six. You can look yes. at the 20. You can look at the 20. So it is a, whoa, whoa the biggest direwolf. Direwolf alpha, seven health, five initiative, four attack dice, lashback of three. So when you hit him, if you don't kill him, he's hitting you back for three damage automatically. He has terrify, so when someone attacks him, they take that terrify die, and you have it on you for a turn, so anyone with terrify dice can attack terrify guys. And then thick skin two. Oh. So every time he takes damage, unless true damage, poison, uh, he will block the first two. So it's defensive dice first. Nine. He doesn't roll defense at least. But he's nine. Seven, kind of. yeah, well, kind of yeah. more than nine. It applies to every turn. He can move back. diagonally. He's melee, and when he comes onto the board, he brings a puts a five point baddie in the battle queue. Yeah, sure. I don't. I think he might be the better option. It's just one five point baddie, as opposed to two that we've seen. And before. we know he's melee. Like, I can scout also. Um, any pile. But keeping a melee means I can put my trap on his spot. Yeah, okay. keep him in the and front. His okay, if you're going to do that, and hopefully. Re reduce. What's your highest you can reduce to three? Uh, yeah, yeah, one three. No, I don't think so. No, it's only twos. Okay. Oh, really? But it's like a 50-50 on two or one, I think. 
but two red bones, which means it could just be a waste, and I've gotten lucky with it so far. Okay. okay. Um, now... Do you scout the five, or do you scout the 20? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You're so this your... is gone. We got the progress. This will go under here. So recovery is done. So we'll do our Midnight Warfare against Molmesh. So baddie Q, baddie points. I will spend this die to... Uh, oh, we're on day nine. Last chance. So only chance to beat this battle, kill the boss, or we're done. We don't only have to beat the tyrant. You don't have to kill everyone else, necessarily. So plus or minus two. So we're at nine times three is 27. Mm -hmm. So I can turn it down to 25. Mm -hmm. Or I can bump it up to 29. No. No. Okay, so I'll reduce it. Down. I'll spend it. It's consumable, so it doesn't go back here. It actually goes to the tray and to earn later. Uh, so we'll reduce it down to 25. Yeah, sure. I'm down. Okay. So baddie Q, baddie points. Party one ignores this. Well, we're at party three, so we're not. Uh, all baddies on this card. So we didn't see his tyrant encounter, so we didn't add any baddies to the thing, which is nice. And then it says add mole mesh to the bottom of the battle queue. So first we do the battle queue, which is 25, I said, right? Mm -hmm. We get our... Direwolf Alpha and a five pointer. We don't know. And then we add him to the bottom. Okay. Then we start putting them out. But do you want to roll your trap thing? Oh, yeah. Sorry. The trap. Uh, thank you. Uh, this will go here. We know he's going there. So let's roll it up. Minus one on the attack die. Okay. I guess that's still good. So he's only rolling three attack for the rest of the battle, which is nice. Uh, uh, and when he comes on, he adds a five pointer to, I believe it's the bottom. Let me just double check. Oh, yeah, take as much as you want. Yep. Take all the health. All right. Uh, where's that symbol? All right. Uh, so when this baddie enters the battle mat, add this many five point baddies to the top of the battle queue. Okay. The top, not top. the bottom. So yep. Another fiver. Oh, man. Knock him all over. All right. So there he is. Now he is coming in. All right. It's, oh, the Break Corrosive Stone Golem. Three attack dice, two defense. He has a corrosive if he rolls bones. We've seen this guy before. I don't like him. And he's going to the melee position. Number three is the Engulfing Dragon Delinquent. Seven health, two attack, two defense. Going in the range. Number three in the back corner. So Engulf, remember, he will deal his damage to the guys next to him. If he rolls bones, he'll weaken two, which reduces your dex. By two for your and next boss turn. Boss is nine, I think, right? Boss is eight. Frenzy two. So remember, if he rolls, frenzy two is if all mole matches attack dice hit no bones, roll the attack dice again and add total damage of both rolls. I just need that one last health. Sorry. Thank you. And then. He is also. He has retreat. If mole match starts his turn at three HP or fewer, he is removed from the battle mat and goes to the top of the battle queue. Mole match's HP is restored once he rejoins the battle. Status effects such as bleed or poison may be applied before or after checking his HP. So if he has poison, he's at four health, let's say. We can say he checks first, he's at four, he's good, then apply the poison. So our choice gets in the same window. Then he is shrouded. Molmesh can only be targeted by adjacent units. And his tyrant die, like we said, he could roll the not, no attack dice can hurt him. Um, cannot take damage from attack dice, the only away dice. Or howl, all friendly units immediately improve one spot on the enemy meter. But no higher than him. All right. Four. Four. Three. Better than a two. I forgot to do my scout, didn't I? Oops. Oh, well. Did no, you did. Did I? That's how we you looked at knew the, five? the guy. I did it, or you guys. I thought he did I that. rolled the six. I just forgot to scout. So uh -oh. I could have looked at, like, the fiver and got rid of that guy, which would have been nice. Hey, a yeah, five. Oh, well. I forgot what I rolled there. All right, four. Uh, four. Four, was it? Okay. Yeah. Right. I wasn't even looking. Uh, four. Way down. Oh, no. Even further. Keep going. That sucks. Six, six. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go what the hell? here. All right. Am I the weakest? Probably uh, am because I didn't I heal think, up. Six. Uh, seven. I have six out of seven. That is not good for Mr. Engulfy up there. He's going before me. Oh, yeah. So you are the weakest. So don't be near me. FYI. <laughs> is he going to kill you? Well, he's going to hit me and then golf hits the two adjacent spots wherever I am. So I don't want to be beside you guys. Oh, but he only has two dice. Okay. Cheapers. And that's this guy's doing it. The range guy. I can move based on where you go. Where's the boss? Right here. That's who we need to kill. If you can kill him, we win. That's it. So whoever's going to hit it the hardest, go right there. I don't have a flow. Here we go, shield bash. Hopefully I can survive till that point. 
Shield bash ten. Oh yeah, it's no other range, right? Yeah, they're all melee. He has eight. I can't shield bash that much, or can I? Nine, six, seven. Attack one, potentially. One hit kill. Maybe no, maybe but no. No, you could. Yeah. If you got two on your attacks, like two, two, two or three, two. and yeah. Oh, do your shield wall now. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yeah, and roll this. There's four chance of getting bones on that too. Next, like on your first turn, right? Two, two, two. Do you want to keep one of those as bones? Oh yeah, you can't put them in your lock slot yet. So yeah, just take the twos, and you don't keep the See, bones though. No. I think. Well, I guess if what? you're just gonna kill the boss, I think where he's going, he's only ever gonna get hit by one. You and I are gonna get then totally don't, beaten don't be down. There. No, no matter where, we, where, no matter where I go. No, nope, here you wouldn't, because this guy would just move down and attack him. If you were all the way over here, he's not gonna move extra space. Yeah, but then this guy is gonna attack me, and if I'm here, I'm getting attacked by a weak uh, engulf. Gotta watch out for the corrosive on him, though. That's dangerous. Yeah, that could screw him for even possibly doing yeah. a big boss. Who's uh, so Where does he go? He nowhere if last. he's got adjacent. He's last. Oh, he's down. He's here. last, but okay. I guess I'll just go there to protect you, and you just try to attack him as much as but, you can. But I don't think I'll make it that long. Yeah. So it's your call. But then we play that game. If he rolls corrosive and burns yeah. Justin's three dice, and he's only got one dice roll, yeah. he'll never be able to do a shield bash to like wipe that guy out with one hit. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping to do it right away. To be honest. Oh, he's likely going to wipe your shields away. Are you you're sure? Them. That's what you're good? It's the only other place I can go. You're going to take three dice attacking you. Or six. I, I mean, three times two. You could... When do you go? After both of them? Blue uh, and purple? Yeah. No, you don't. No, not after purple. So I you could... have a chance to heal before getting yeah. the next yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. Or getting some defense up. Yeah. Which might be good. We just need to last. So yeah. defending yourself and keeping yourself alive might be the best play versus attacking anyway. Okay. We're good? Yep, I think so. Nobody in the queue? No. This okay. is it. All right. Uh, boss man. Rolling his tyrant die and two attack dice. No defense. Attacking the me, Justin, because he's next to you. So, uh, first things first. First, how does this work with tyrants? I think it's defense, attack, then his yeah, tyrant die. I think so. So, uh, two, uh, you'll lose, right? And then, uh, this is all units friendly to mole mesh immediately improve one spot on the any meter. Oh, and that guy's gonna go before me now. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's very bad. Yeah. Okay. But not higher than mole mesh, so they're all good. Okay. Right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, next is yellow. Yellow. He's so he's going to... you. Yeah, so I'm the weakest, right? Where... Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, so he's rolling two, two attack, dice. two defense. No. Please don't weaken me. No weakens. Uh, he yep. did get the weaken. He'll take a defense. He'll attack then attack for two. for two. Nobody's going to get hit near me. Yeah, no. Down to four. Yeah. All right. Weaken Scary. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you gave me yeah. that. I gave you that heal. He's got to make it to his turn, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, oh, he will. <clears throat> okay. Five. This guy will come down and roll three attack dice on you. One, one, one. Okay. One, two, three. Just need to survive. <clears throat> Just need to survive. Justin, you don't need to heal, but make big things happen here. So what I want... So two. I have to use this four, on my turn. Sorry, right? I can't, yes. Yeah. Five, six. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <clears throat> six, seven. So if I re-roll one of these, I can do that. So two defense, mm -hmm. one attack, and that one. Yeah, this one. I'm hoping for one. So five of shield bash is right now. Assuming you can get two dice in, he's eight to die. Yeah, and I just need. One attack, two attack, one attack. And no, the attack on top Because I'm trying to get the, another shield. Here. You really need two bones for anything to happen big, right? There's two bones. So, hold on. Ooh. You can change those up, right? You yeah, keep, like you can keep, keep one those of bones, as bones. And yeah. you can make that a one. Yeah. Which is six from that, plus one. Seven. Ooh, Ooh. only brings him one away. Yeah, yeah. But, but Rob's going next. Yeah, it's only the start of his turn he does that health check. 
But if he can get one, one. one. But I only roll. Oh, I roll three dice. And you only need to hit dice. one. Yeah, yeah. That's, yep. that's what I'm doing. That's yeah. what I'm doing. <laughs> I just kind of okay, so bones you're gonna hit him for one, right? Yeah, for one. Okay. Okay. One attack die. And then you're and then I'm gonna shield bash, bash for six. six. Oh, I can't hit him because I'm not adjacent to him. Oh wait, wait you can't. But oh. ranged. No. No. Umesh can, can only be targeted by adjacent yep. units. I can't even attack the boss. So you might want to rethink your uh, strategy there. I mean, you can still hit him for the one. Yeah. I would still take off one, but don't do a shield bash on him yet. But the corrosive is going to get The corrosive is on no, the No, she's here to stop that. Yeah, so I might die at the, to protect you so you can do it again. Okay. Well, you got one closer. <laughs> and um, Yeah, yeah. That's the safer play. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because you can't choose to just shield bash with two dice or anything. You have to take all of those defense out. What are you thinking? What? I'm going to take one out. No, you can't. Oh. No, no. I no. mean, like, from my roll. Do I need to put it up there? Oh. Because this way... You've got one that you just put in there yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why? Why wouldn't you? Oh. I would keep it for now. Yeah, because I'm going to take a hit. hit. Yeah, when you take a hit. But like... I, don't, I don't need this yet. I would keep well, it there. Well, I would there. keep it there so you have the shield bash ready. Because this down here doesn't take away from this. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. On your turn, exhaust anyone. That I'm could be one of either. ours, but we don't have any exhausted, so... Yeah, and I don't yet. think I'm going to make it to my turn. My turn. I think you will. Nope. So I only have three decks, thanks to my weekend, uh, which I'll take off in a second. Uh, Oops, sorry. See here. Whoops. Good catch. <laughs> so, uh, is there a reason to put out my wolf? I think so. But I think defense is a thing. Yeah. Because if I'm weakest and I'm getting pinged by this dude. Your wolf will be the weakest that's uh, out there. Two attack. What could this even be on? This guy? Mm -hmm. Thick skin? <laughs> Do it on the engulf guy. That keeps attacking you. He's the only guy attacking you. Yeah. But yeah. once I'm dead, this guy's gonna come after you. Yeah, no, I won't last long. We need Mel, this, it's we your need turn next happen. or no? No. Who's that guy bumped up in front of me. Oh, yeah. He was three attack die. I only have four health. You can still live. And then you can heal yourself. If I can make it to my turn, I'm yeah. good. But I believe. I don't know that I will. I believe, Mel. No. Well, that's good. Yeah, could you, if you kill the engulf guy, that just saves you from I can't kill him now. I mean, you three dice. We can hit him. Yeah, but he's got one armor and seven health. Like, uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's just one person. Well, you anything. can choose your target, right? After. Yeah, let's see what happens. All right, uh, two so and one. Got a defense. Mm, thick skin's pointless to hit him. I don't want to break my dice, so. Well, you can hit him for two because that still won't put him under no, the threshold. No, 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 oh, right, right, right. Uh, or else so we one off here right and one defense gone. Yeah, get rid of that defense. Okay. Uh, okay, someone else I will this. actually. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is gone. Uh, how many can I take? Yeah, I can do this right now, actually. All three? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Eating those herbs. <laughs> All right, up to seven health max. So I won't take it. I forgot about that. Uh, I could have rolled the Wolverine die, but then he'd be the weakest. Then I'm getting hit by engulf. Nope, I'd rather you get hit by engulf which could break his dice so he's not hitting anyone anymore, which would be perfect. Okay. But I'll, that take, is I'll my take it too, right? The engulf? Yeah. But then this? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, someone else roll for the break guy. Three attack, two defense on me. Three attack? Three, Three attack, two defense. Two defense. Two defense? Jesus. All right, so he got three. Oh, one away. I'm lucky. I told you. One, two, three. Wow. Does he get these two shields? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Those on him. Wow, I thought I was going to be dead. No, I told and you. And the corrosive does nothing. You got the bones. So yeah. your turn. Heal one. Okay, I'm going to eat my berries to heal three more. Told you you're still in this. Up to five. I believe. Uh, that. Okay, so... Now who am I attacking? Okay, I'm doing this. So he this. has lashback three. That's a little this. dangerous. And thick skin and terrify. Yeah, your best because if bone saw, it doesn't get exhausted against this guy, right? Yeah. So that might be the best. How many more can I heal? Though? You can also run. One, two, three, four, five. You can run and let Justin seven. get hit by the corrosive dude. <laughs> Just kidding. Whatever strategy thinks for you guys works. <laughs> oh, put poison on him too. Yeah. If you can. If I can, yeah. Oh, double balls. Okay, I'm going to hit him for three. Okay, so it gets it's the two defense away and one health off. Doesn't get exhausted. 
uh, like it's Zacti, but it does get exhausted because it's a. Uh, but it saves you from exhaustion. So I missed on the poison, so that's fine. And I could. But you got double so bones. What does that do for you? Could needle jab them. No, I need three bones. For oh, that. that's right. Yeah. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll heal myself. For two more. And I'll save that for that. If mm. I can make it around. So that was this first guy, right? Round. No, no. So that was Mel going. End of the. There's no battle queue at the end. There's nothing that happens each round, round. right? Nope. No. Round two. Boss man, me rolls this two attack and his tyrant die on you. Three, three attack. So, so we'll take away whatever you want to do. Sure, because of this one. Oh yes, and then that's used up. Then he does the whole bumping up the queue thing. Uh, so he's already there, uh, as high as him. This guy's as high as him. Would this guy go up one? Because he can. Yeah, he would, right? Yeah. They all bump up. They just can't pass him. Yeah. So like jump over each other. Yeah. Damn it! Now I'm after that guy too. Yeah. All right. It's okay. So that was him. Yep. Uh, his health is not good. Whatever. We checked that already. Uh, blue guys here. Three attack dice. Uh, three and a bones. Which? Ooh, who are we doing? Uh, this guy's attacking you. Okay, for three. three. Yeah. So I'm gonna take one. Perfect. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Six. This guy rolling two oh. attack dice. I think on me. And I'm at seven. You're at six. six. Yep. yep, that's fine. Two attack, two defense. Attacking patches with engulf. Like I don't want him to hit, but I do. Uh, this is a cock die. I'd say we reroll. I could see a two from my angle, but there's one on that one. <laughs> no, uh, so all right. three. So one, two, three. Does engulf hit? Yep. Three on you. Three on this Not one. Not thick skin. Oh, so just one? Yeah. Yeah, because thick skin too. And three on and me, this right? Guy, yeah. so this, this guy takes three, right? Yeah. yeah. But he breaks, breaks those two dice. So this guy can't roll anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, well, sure. I'll just keep him oh, there okay, to remind sure. us so that he can't roll dice. Now I need sort of this exhausted. guy to... Oh, it's me. Ticket. No heal, because you can't get through his shields ever, so you're good. Yeah. Um, so now... Uh, three defense dice because yeah. mm -hmm. and one attack. Mm -hmm. Sure. And we're hoping for. Well, let's roll it. Oh and... man, I want this too. You yeah. can't. Well, yes, you can. You can if you. But don't... not don't roll the attack then if you're gonna do that. Yeah. Wait, wait. wait. I don't need the attack. Okay. Right. I just need the sh the shield bash. Because you've got seven left, so you need to get at least ones on three of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can up them with radar armor. There, you oh, go. there you it got is. It. So walk us through what is happening here. So, right, you but walk. you can only lock in three. That's fine. Yeah. Two, so four, he's gonna six. uptick oh, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uptick no, no, no. those with radar armor. It. Radar yep. armor. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. And then. Because I forgot about his other shield there. Yeah. So how much does he have? Two, four, have seven, six. Because you took off that one seven. last turn. Yeah. Seven. Okay. And then I'll use the shield bash. Yep. Mm -hmm. So spend two bones, and that pops all your defense dice, even this. Regen stuff out of Where does this go out of there. This goes there. That's gone. This gets exhausted. This does this so because I use it from there. Yeah, too, it goes right? back there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And deals eight seven damage. That was seven exactly right. Yeah. Boom boom boom. Two and four you get to six. Put his head seven. on a spike, and this is gone. He is out, and because the tyrant is defeated, that is the end of the tyrant battle. We won, guys. We won. How did that happen? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. How did this happen? Sweet. Yeah, so that's crazy. <sighs> so that was wow. nuts. I didn't expect to win after all those losses, but then when we got the three training points, I felt like that really got us up so you could survive that turn. Like You wouldn't have survived normally. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have survived there. I got pretty low. Yeah. Getting that extra health was huge. Uh, you getting some extra defense was huge to be able to do what you just did. But yeah, the big, big play from the defensive guy was actually our heaviest hitter. It was interesting, eh? I thought it would be me if I could have got my attacks going, but I, I was silly taking these skill dice. I know I played Gilly very bad, taking what I did. I was just doing it for fun to show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It made it harder for us, for sure. Uh, I really should have maybe done some more decks or defense to survive. I was rolling attack dice and my skill dice to start when I should have been rolling a, t a defense and skills on the start to build up some survivability, but I thought putting the Wolverine in would have done that, but sometimes he misses. But yeah, and patches, I don't know... What we could have done better there to keep you alive longer, I, I don't know. Well, Maybe. I think it was just the one mistake on being on the on the wrong side the one time. 
It's felt like you died at first a lot, and it's tough because you're our healer to keep us alive, so then quickly after that, you know, the foundation goes out, then the rest of the house crumbles, right? Yeah. But what I think is maybe we should have tried to convince Justin to maybe take Red Shirt or the Hero Dice or something. Some way he could have given uh, Defense Dice to you or got Taunt on him with Lockdown. Mm -hmm. So that way, when you guys are beside people and they're choosing between the two of you, they would always choose him because he had Taunt. Yeah. Like, maybe we should have focused on that. Since we're playing with three players, it, it, the Taunt matters more on Picket, which we could have done. We could have gone That's that true. route. Yeah. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. Because, like, you never had a problem... Once you got your shields up, yeah, like you, yeah, you just survived and it was, yeah. That's Picket though. Easy mm -hmm. peasy. But yeah, that's something we'll learn from playing three players. Like I guess at our first three player game, so we're still learning how to play three players and how to use the gear locks properly. I probably shouldn't have used that rocket flare thing when I did. That was definitely bad. <laughs> I just got scared because we kept losing and I was worried that we would, you know, let's just try to make it easier to put less weaker baddies on the board, but putting more baddies even though they're weaker, is probably bad in some cases, depending on who you pull. Yeah. I did probably forget my scout a couple times. I'm sorry for that. I do that a lot because I can scout, I think. I think I can scout even when it's not a battle. Maybe not. Where is my sheet? Um, no, it's only before, before battle. battle yeah. Okay, so good. To, I think I got it most of the times except for that last one for sure. I yeah. missed it, but I feel like I forget it sometimes with him. Um, but yeah, Justin, what do you think of the game, man? Uh, it's, it's pretty first good. Time playing. No, it's pretty good. I, it was a little... Surprised that at the end there it was just like oh I'll just keep attacking this guy yeah yeah because it, it, that's the part of the tyrant battle sometimes the tyrant battle requires you to beat certain types of baddies first like there's a guy in the swamp where you he'll start with two bogs on the board already and you have to have no bog type baddies on the board to even damage him so you have to get those two off but sometimes bogs will find their way in the queue and then they'll start appearing after that so even though you kill those guys other bogs might come in and then you're you're just you're just a longer battle. So sometimes you have to do it in different orders. Sometimes they'll be on the bottom of the queue. Sometimes the body baddie will go to the top of the queue. There's all these weird like different rules. With I it, am but... also happy that we didn't see the tyrant's blue card. Yeah, yeah, yeah that key. I think it was probably that. next. Oh, no, was that was the last one in the deck. Oh wow. We could have got it if we picked that trove loot one. It would have shuffled. A member would have put it on the top. Yeah. yeah. But it, it would have uh, basically search your active stacks for the first beast type baddies, so the purple ones, a uh, little paw. Uh, so like the pups or the furs. But you search and place it on the Tyrant card, and it'll be added to the Tyrant battle. So party size of three to four, we actually search the five-point baddie stack, find the first beast-type baddie, and we stick it on this card, and then it would have added it to the queue here. Nah, so, we didn't need that. Yeah, because we would have not seen Malmesh yet, because he remember he would have been at the bottom. Yeah, so we so would have had, had to kill someone, someone first to get him even out on the board. Which, with these dudes on the board, I'm not sure we would have been able to do those guys that are big. And then, when that happens, you draw another encounter card for today and shuffle this back in your deck. So, so you draw the happen. card, you could get it the next day after that again, yeah. and then do it again. And yeah, so we did. We were lucky there, we didn't, didn't do it. But. Nah, man. So that's that. But yeah, that's Too Many Bones. That's our first three-player playthrough. Like I said before, if you haven't seen any of our other playthroughs, solo, two-player, and we'll eventually do a uh, Age of Tyranny campaign. We'll try to get a four-player video if we can rope someone else into playing this awesome dice chucking game. Uh, so yeah, make Go sure ahead. you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Hit the like button to help other people find these videos. If you want to support the channel, you like what we do here, Go down to the link below in the description and head on over to Patreon and donate. Thank you so much to all our Patreon backers. Without you guys, these videos wouldn't be happening. Thanks again to Chip Theory Games for providing this copy we're using here on the channel uh, and all the fun uh, expansions of like Gilly and Nugget and stuff. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, leave any comments below if we goofed up any rules, like I said before, and timestamp it if you can. Any strategy tips are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.